hello ladies and gentlemen and it is that time of the season it is senior interviews and we're here at West Lawrence High School and you're going to meet some of the amazing young men and women that represent our school and our district and up front we've got Miss Jaden Passmore with us hi Jaden hey how are you I'm doing well how are you good Jaden this is it for you and I I know, it's kind of sad. <laughs> it is. It's like a really a bittersweet time. You know, through the years, I've interviewed so many seniors and, and talking to their parents and about the, the things that you're going to miss. And this is really a bittersweet moment for you guys. It really is. I can't believe it's almost over. <laughs> I know, but you know what? You've had an amazing ride, haven't you? I have. <laughs> Share with the people out there a little bit about that ride you've been on, Jaden. Hey, so my parents are Tim and Holly Passmore, and um, I've been going to West Lawrence all four years. I cheer, I do competitive cheer and spirit cheer. I also play soccer. Um, I've been in many sports, National Honor Society, Beta, Anchor, and I've kept myself busy <laughs> pretty much with all these sports and clubs, and um, I really enjoyed just the high school experience, um, meeting new people, making new friends, and yeah, it's been a great experience. It has been. And of course, you were recently crowned. <laughs> yes, ma'am. <laughs> You've had such a great ride here, Jaden. And do you remember when you were a freshman? I do. <laughs> I was a little bit timid, a little bit scared, didn't know what to expect, but it's been really fun. And if you could think about something or some culminate uh, what you're going to miss most about your high school experience, what would that be? I would definitely miss sports the most. Um, this is where I've made most of my friends, where I've made most of my memories. So yeah. I mean, you guys were state champions. I mean, you know, that's like an opportunity of a lifetime. Yes, ma'am, it when was. you really look back at retrospect in retrospect of where you started mm -hmm. and then that moment and being able to witness that was just so beautiful. And now here it is, you're getting ready to leave. What's yes, next for you, Jaden? Um, I'm gonna be attending Georgia Southern University and majoring in exercise science. Exercise science, that's outstanding. You know, Jaden, if you wanna give a, you know, what kind of message would you give to your peers? You know, as you're looking out here, you see some of your classmates, you know, you, this year has been a little different for you all, mm -hmm. you know, with COVID, you all definitely, you made it through COVID, yes. you know, and so what message do you want to give to them? Because you all are getting ready to pretty much go your separate ways and you're about to forge those paths of yours that you've been working on for a long time. Yes, ma'am. What do you want to say to them? Thank you for all the memories. Thank you for um, being friends with me and thank you for playing sports with me. <laughs> and I hope that we're all successful in the long run. <laughs> Absolutely. And your parents, your family, you've got such a strong support system. And, you know, um, how important is your family to you with everything that you've had going on for you to be successful the way you are? Yes, they are so supportive. They support me in everything I do. They've encouraged me to do my best in every aspect of my life. And I'm very thankful for that. <laughs> Well, we're so excited of what the future holds for you, Jaden. Every time I see you, you know, I light up myself. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I'm so very proud of the young woman that you've become, and I look forward to what the future holds. Thank you, Ms. Rock. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Jaden Passmore. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Hello, darling. Hey, Ms. Pat. <laughs> Good to see you. Good to see you, too. You and I have done this many times, haven't we? Yes, ma'am. And this one right here is a little bit different Bitter, for us. Bittersweet. It? it is. Talk to us. Share with everyone about you, things that you've been involved in and what um, your high school career, I would say, has been for you. Yes, ma'am. Um, my name's Caroline Pollock. My parents are Jody and Tracy Pollock and I have a little brother named Kason. I'm involved in Anchor Club, Beta Club, National Art Society, and I'm on the FCA leadership team. I'm the secretary for them and have been for three years. I'm also involved in softball. I've played that ever since they allowed me to have a ball in my hand. Um, that is definitely my passion, and I'm glad I've gotten to been play it for the Raiders. They're the best team I've ever played for. And you're going off to college to continue playing this sport yes, that you love. Yes, ma'am. At ABAC. At ABAC. We're so proud of you. You know, K. Rowe, can I call you K. Rowe? Absolutely. <laughs> K. Rowe. This, uh, you know, when you first started off in high school as freshmen, as you walk these halls, you see these young people. You see so many young ladies that look up to you that aspire to be like you. Yes, ma'am. How does that make you feel knowing that you're a mentor to so many? Um, it's, it's a great feeling like no other. Like, I remember as a freshman, the seniors I looked up to and, like, I saw them as, like, leaders and, like, people above me at that time. And 
I tried to remember how I felt about the seniors my freshman year and treat them the way I would want to be treated as a freshman because now, like, the seniors that were there my freshman year mm -hmm. are some of my best friends. So, like, yeah. you make lifelong friends. So, like, in the moment, you look up to them as, like, superior than you, but if you you treat them like the way they should be treated and show them like the ways to go or whatever, mm -hmm. you'll end up being lifelong friends. And you know, I've seen that with you. I've seen that in the way that you are compete as an athlete. I mean, you've got such a lot, like a strong drive and work ethic, yes, but at the same time, you are also very cognizant of the ones that are looking up to you. Yes, ma'am. And so what have you loved most about your high school experience? Definitely softball. Um, yeah. it's, it's where I've become have my lifelong friend, like my, my closest friends that I've had, like they've helped me get through the hardest times that I yeah. could imagine, like at this moment in life, not the yeah. hardest times ever, but like they've been with me through it all and mm -hmm. the coaches that have been there and like helped me grow as a person and right. especially like my dad, getting to play for him has been the best experience of my life. And that's, that's going to be the hardest part. Like I still get to play softball in yeah. college, but it's going to be completely different because I don't get to play for him. And, you know, we talked about that when we did your signing about, you know, with your parents and, yes, and just sharing what that meant for them to be able to have that moment with you. And now here you are transitioning uh, to college to continue this sport. And so, therefore, they're going to have to take their hands off a little bit. Yes, ma'am. But, you know, everything that they have instilled within you, I mean, we see that in you every day. Mm -hmm. And so what message do you want to give to your peers, Cairo, the ones that you know that you've been with every single day, uh, your teammates? And now uh, knowing that you all are definitely, uh, you know, once you turn that tassel, things do change. Absolutely. What do you want to say to your peers? Um, thanks for being there for me, like throughout the whole thing. The, my teammates, um, keep working hard, keep keep that drive in you. It ain't it ain't easy being a Raider. Not everybody can be one, but you know the ones that stick here and stay. I hope you you fight through the end and bring home that state title. And for the friends that have been there for me for my whole life, I hope that you succeed. And I hope that we can someday meet paths again, but I love y'all. And we love you. It's always a pleasure to chat with you and a pleasure to see you on that field and to know that you are setting such a great example for others to follow as a student athlete. That makes us all proud. Yes, ma'am. Thank you so much. Thank you, Ms. Pat. K. Rowe. Well, hello. How are Hi, you? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing well. Share with us a little bit about you, okay? Your um, family and the things you've been involved in. Okay. I'm Chloe McLean. My parents are Kagan and Amy McLean. My dad is the head football coach here. Um, I've played volleyball all four years of high school, and I've really enjoyed getting to meet people through that and being a part of a team sport. Um, and I played soccer ninth and 10th grade, but then I decided to stop that and focus more on volleyball because mm -hmm. I was doing dual enrollment. So that was a really big change from going to high school level classes to college level classes, mm -hmm. but it's been a really good experience and I think that it's prepared me a lot for going into real college mm -hmm. because I've had a little bit of like, I'm still in high school, but I get to take a few college classes That's and right. just kind of get a feel for it. So, yeah. Well, Chloe, how do you kept everything balanced? How do you balance your life, all things Chloe? How do you balance all of well, that? Well, it's been a struggle. You really have to <laughs> try out different yeah. things and see what works for you. But I've been able to always put like my schoolwork first. That's what, it was really hard to give up soccer because I love playing. I've played ever since I was a kid, but I really had to prioritize yeah. like if I wanted to continue to be able to do dual enrollment and to take the higher level classes that I was taking, get all my work done and mm -hmm. perform to a level that was acceptable for me, then I was gonna have to put more time and effort into that. Chloe, you sound like a grown woman. <laughs> Look at you, you I mean, you made that decision to hang up those cleats because you're looking at the big picture of things. Yes, ma'am. And I know your parents are so proud of you. <laughs> Thank you. Being a coach's kid, how is that? Because during football season and then off season, like you all have to share him mm -hmm. and he's so intense. Yeah. And yeah, so you is. have to share him with like everybody. Mm -hmm. And so how have you all managed to keep that family time, that connection, and um, and how are you going to do that once you go off to college? Mm, it's going to be difficult <laughs> after I go off to college, but um, throughout high school, we've always been very supportive of him. We go to yeah. almost every single game that we can, and he's been coaching ever since I was born. Mm -hmm. So even like as a one-year-old, two-year-old, I've been going to baseball games and going to football games, and so that's just been a really big part of my life, getting to experience like watching I've been watching high school sports mm -hmm. my entire life yes um even if it is if even if it hasn't been at West Lawrence it's been at Americas or mm -hmm. wherever else he was mm -hmm. coaching so um we've been able to support him in everything that he does um 
And then as far as spending time with family, he's very good about um, keeping football where football needs to be and then yeah. prioritizing his family when it's time to like spend time with us on the weekends and mm -hmm. like during summer break, vacation, all of that. He's very good at compartmentalizing, so that's helped. <laughs> and now here it is, after graduation, what's next for you? Mm. I'm going to Tacoa Falls College to pursue a major in Family and Children's Ministries because my mom, she works as a preschool pastor at the church and she's just really inspired me my whole life. I've gotten to see the inner workings of churches, so I would love to work in one someday. Look at that. I'm putting a heart up that. <laughs> that is such a blessing. I mean, we have several students that are going off to, to, to Tacoa Falls and yes, some that are already there. Mm -hmm. And so uh, are you, are you going to miss anything about high school? I'm definitely going to miss the easier going times because you know when you get into college yeah. and you're having to get prepared for real adult life yeah. I'm definitely gonna miss getting to hang out with friends all the time and just like I have responsibilities but they're not near to the level of most adults so I'm gonna really miss that <laughs> but but you know here's to greater things for you yes ma'am congratulations <laughs> we're excited about the, what the future holds thank you thank you Chloe good morning folks I'm John Nichols I'm general manager at the uh, newly built uh, bug house pest control office here in Centerville, Georgia on Houston Lake Road, uh, where we've had a number of people, uh, companies that have been involved in trying to get this uh, building up and, and come in this office uh, ready. And, and one of those is A Plus Flooring uh, and Construction, uh, Kyle Gerard, uh, really had a major play in everything that happened with this building to get it to where it is today. Very, very pleased with his work and his, uh, uh, his professionalism and and number one, talking and, and making sure things are done right, but also uh, as far as examples and uh, uh, flooring and, and colors and stuff like that, really made a major difference as far as getting the building built. Uh, very thankful with, uh, with how it went about and how Kyle was very helpful, answered all the questions that he could. Um, and, and if he couldn't, then he got back with me and was very um, timely in making sure that that happened. But, I just want to give a shout out to A-plus flooring and construction and tell Kyle, we appreciate you. You did a fantastic job. We're very thankful for our new building. It's nothing personal. It's just business. Hello? That's how some people do things. Right away. To us, everything we do is personal. Because anyone can answer the call. It's who shows up that matters most. That's the quality of your independent agent and the company that stands behind them. Ask Curry Maffet Insurance in Dublin if auto owners make sense for you. Well, 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 another little Tacoa Falls here. Hi, Lillianne. Hey, Miss Pat, how are you? <laughs> doing great, how are you? I'm doing good. Lillianne, it's been a while since you and I've chatted. It has been a while. But it's still, you know. Yes, ma'am. It's still, we're still fire on the top. <laughs> Absolutely. Share with us, Lillianne, about about you, about your family, and just kind of give us, you know, your little elevator speech about um, your high school career and culminating to uh, where you are now and, of course, where you're going. Yes, ma'am. So I'm the daughter of Reed and Amanda Waldrop. I've been involved in so many things throughout high mm -hmm. school. I'm a member of the Beta Club, Anchor Club, um, Raider Buddies, FFA, and National Honor Society. Oh, wow. I actually had the honor of serving as president for the FFA my junior year. Um, sports has also been a huge part of my life. Mm -hmm. I ran varsity cross country my first two years of high school, but I needed to give something up. But I have been playing varsity soccer all four years. Mm -hmm. um, just being busy has been a huge blessing <laughs> all throughout high school. It has been stressful at times, but I just love doing as many things as possible to make the most of the experience. I mean, you know, Lillian, you are just a little flower, I tell you. <laughs> I mean, well, thank just, you. and you are definitely mm -hmm. blossoming. And I remember when I first started interviewing you and just and getting to know you and getting to know your family and then to see where you are now and of course your scholarship to Tacoa Falls and, yes, and what that means uh, for your entire family. What has been the highlight for you your high school year? Definitely my friends. I have some of the best friends in the world. Um, going into high school, I had probably two friends, but then I have this Start group of... Two? Yes, I had a group of 11 girls, and they have just been so, so great in growing me in my faith and just keeping me accountable, telling me when I don't need to make certain decisions, mm -hmm. so just getting to know people at a deeper level. And a person of your faith and caliber and the peer pressures that you can come to sometimes with high school, how have you made sure that you've stayed focused 
Um, definitely prioritizing your responsibilities. I know it's been hard for me yeah. to figure out what needs to come first, but just knowing that my faith needs to become mm -hmm. everything else, then schoolwork, then yeah. family and friends and all of that, just knowing that it isn't as important to work hard as it is to just enjoy life yeah. and hold true to your morals of always. Yes, always. Well, I talked to your mom and dad about, you know, of course, you're an only child. Yes, ma'am. And they're about to become empty nesters. And, you know, I just wanted to make sure that they kind of ease themselves into it because it's going to be traumatic for right them. it's literally going to be traumatic you know have you been trying to prepare them i for have your... um i imagine they'll be in tacoa a lot <laughs> next year they're already looking at cabins to buy um we're very very close they have been so yeah. great in everything that i've done um part of being an only child is you do get extremely close with your parents because it's been me and them for 18 years yeah. um so i am really sad to leave them but they've been so supportive and i imagine they'll probably be following me <laughs> Okay. They are. I mean, the the sun has risen and set on you, you know, being that only child. And you have definitely, you haven't disappointed them. You have not disappointed them. Uh, what message do you want your mom and dad to know? What do you want to, what do you want them to know? Um, just thank you all for everything you've done. Thank you for pushing me to be better. Um, most of all, thank you for establishing that faith basis because yeah. I give everything that I am to them today. Mm -hmm. um, just doing those devotions with me when I was three years old, making sure I was in Sunday school every morning. <laughs> That really helped me be who I am today. So um, thank y'all. I understand that they have given up so much for me. And mm -hmm. I just really, I hope they know that I don't take it for granted. Absolutely. You know, and I want to tell you all this. I was at, uh, Lillian works up at the front office sometimes. And I saw her, she had a little Bible out. And I had never, I'm a preacher's wife. <laughs> I have never seen a Bible with that many highlights <laughs> in it in my life. It made me go, Lord, I got to do better. <laughs> you have red, <laughs> yellow, green, orange. But you know, just to see that commitment in you as a young person, that has a, you know, a lot of that. It's like very um, admirable. Well, thank you. I and tell everyone that. what's next for you. Um, so I will be going to Tacoa Falls College in the fall. I'm pursuing a degree in sustainable community development with a double major in Bible and theology. So, yes, ma'am. <laughs> Y'all hear that, don't you? <laughs> We're so excited for well, what's next you. for you, Lillianne. Keep making us proud. Keep staying focused. And we know the sky is the limit for you. We well, know you're going to you. do great things. I hope so. <laughs> Lillianne Walters, everyone. Well, well, well. If it isn't Miss Ellen Newsom, salutatorian, star <laughs> student of the decade. How are you, darling? <laughs> I'm good. How are you? You know, Ella, we, you and I have been talking. Yes, ma'am. I mean, you've had a lot going on. <laughs> yes, ma'am. <laughs> You're a force to be reckoned with, little mama. Talk to us a little bit. Yes, ma'am. So I'm the daughter of Lee and Karen Newsom, and my mom actually has been teaching math here for as long as I can remember, so I've been running around the school for a very long time. Um, but throughout high school, I've just tried to involve myself. Mm -hmm. And a lot of things, you know, while you're young, just getting to experience as much as I can. So I've, you know, been in National Honor Society, Beta Club, Anchor, FFA, Skills USA. I've gotten to be really heavily involved through FCA, which has been a blessing in my life. And then getting to play a sport and be a cheerleader for all four years has been really fun. And then, you know, there's a couple of accomplishments that I set out and set goals for myself, you know, as a ninth grader, such as the salutatorian um, and the cheer state championship win. <laughs> yes, ma'am. <laughs> but um, overall, it's just been a great time and a, the lessons I've learned and the people I've met have just been absolutely amazing. And you know, we often talk about this being bittersweet. You know, you've yes, accomplished a lot, but there's also those little things that, you know, uh, your achievements, money, none of that can buy that you're going to definitely miss. Yes, ma'am. What are some of those things? Well, you know, like I said, my mom works here and so you know every single day I've gotten to go sit in her classroom <laughs> in the morning or you know just stop in her room before class and ask her how her day was or let her ask me how my day was and I think that'll be a really big deal yeah. is just not having that contact with her every single day um, but also just every single person I get to see every day the little yeah. conversations I get to have in any classes or just in the hallway I'm yeah. just gonna miss those little relationships that have just impacted me on such a huge level. Oh, yeah. And, you know, that's going to stick with you because, I, you know, I think back to my high school years of what I miss. I miss, like, just during the break time when you're just, like, standing, like, in you all the commons area. I miss that. Like, just, shuck, well, what we call is, you know, shucking and jiving. 
<laughs> but just talking, you know, just talking and chit chatting with friends and people as they walk by. That's something small, but it's like, man, I miss that. Yes, ma'am. And now you're getting ready to go off to bigger and better things, honey. Yes. Yes. I will be attending the University of Georgia in the fall to pursue a degree in biological engineering. So. <laughs> wow. Cool. This, is, this is impressive. So you're not going to be a math teacher. <laughs> Contrary to what my mom would like for me to be. <laughs> and your dad. <laughs> yes, ma'am. They were both math majors. <laughs> they were, yes, ma'am. And so, Ella, you know, a state championship ring, um, the many accolades that you've already accomplished, and then you're going to be giving that salutatorian address. Yes, ma'am. You know, we don't want to hear the speech, but what one thing do you want your peers to always remember? I just want them to know that I am just so overwhelmingly thankful and grateful for everything they've given me and just the little ways that each and every one of them has touched my life, you know, whether it was three years ago and we've never talked again or whether you're a close friend that I talk to every yeah. single day, you know, it has impacted me on such a big level and I'm just, you know, I've been reflecting a lot over yeah. my past four years, especially writing the speech, but it's just, I'm just so thankful for everything and every single one of them and we're so very thankful for you Ella I mean you continue to make us proud you've got a very sweet humble spirit and you love people you love people genuinely and you love what you're doing thank you and so we're excited for you okay <laughs> thank you thank you ladies and gentlemen state champion here Ella Newsom. Badcock Home Furniture and More is your home store where you'll find great savings on new living room sets, sofas, love seats, recliners, and more. Badcock Home Furniture and More has great savings every day on bedding and bedroom sets. Shop Badcock Home Furniture and More for a great selection of dining room sets and save every day on electronics and appliances at Badcock Home Furniture and More, 1927 Highway 441 South in Dublin. Call 275-3144 for more information or stop by and see Wendy and Tim Sumner or any of their friendly staff today at Badcock and More Home Furniture Store, where no credit is ever refused. Hi, I'm Perry Williamson. We've been serving the Dublin Lawrence community for over 90 years here at Williamson's Bakery. We specialize in donuts, cakes, pies, cupcakes, cookies, birthday cakes. They're our business, not a hobby. And don't forget our large selection of cheese straws. For special orders, contact us on Facebook, Instagram, or better yet, just come get you some. When you stop by, be sure to try our all new Pig in the Blankets. We have bacon, sausage, and chicken. We're located at 1634 Veterans Boulevard, Dublin, Georgia. With the hot, freshest donuts, come to Williamson's Bakery. We proudly support our area athletics. Hello, darling. Hey. How are you? I'm good. How are you? You and I go way back, too. We do. When you were in the Nutcracker, you a little bitty one now. <laughs> you grown up, haven't you? Yeah, 14 years in it. Wow. Tell us a little bit of your story, if you right. would. My name is Megan Kelly. I'm the daughter of Karen and Patrick Kelly. And throughout high school, I've been very involved in the arts. I've been a member of the drama club, the chorus. I've been a section leader in band, first chair in the wind ensemble, and a member of the jazz band. I've done a lot of dance, like Nutcracker, for 14 years. And then I've been traveling up to Macon over this past year to mm -hmm. attend dance at the Madison Studio. Megan, I am so proud of you. I think when I first interviewed you, OK, that was, um, I want to say, seven years ago. How, what grade were you in then? Oh, Lord. <laughs> Sometime in middle school. You're right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, and that's when I met your mom. Yes. And she and I connected. And so since then, you have not stopped. Not really, no. What do you love most about the arts? Because performing arts is a part of your DNA. Yes. It's something, it's kind of like your happy place. What do you love most about performing arts? Just being able to express myself and to create something and give the joy I find in performing to other people. And, you know, when I see you on stage, you come alive. You know that? You're not that shy little thing. You know that, right? <laughs> like yes. that's when you explode. Yeah. That's why, that's when you know that you're doing something that's right here and you're able to express yourself on stage so beautifully. Yes. And so what is next for you? I'll be going to Mercer University mm -hmm. and I'm going to continue training in dance. <laughs> yeah. Hopefully get a career in ballet. Oh. <laughs> Megan, I'm so proud of you. Thank you. So here it is. Um, 
you've been performing all your life and now here it is you're getting the opportunity to continue that yes you know to live that dream something that you've always wanted to do even as a little girl mm -hmm. you're able to do that yeah I'm very excited so what do you want to say to those little girls out there that are you know they were like you mm -hmm. you know involved in so many things as far as the performing arts and they had this dream of going off to college <laughs> to study dance to be a ballerina yes what well, do you want to say you can definitely do it you just have to remain focused focus on time management definitely between school and everything but just stay focused and if you want to have it and if you have that love for it you really can oh my so. gosh and what do you want to say to your peers because you've been in the band and performed with a lot of these young people yes and now you're gonna you know all flying away <laughs> what do you want to say to them well, thank you for making everything I've been a part of just such a joy and wonderful thing to do and for being so supportive of me as a section leader like everything else that I've done and just for being so wonderful. Oh my gosh, so proud of you. I'm going to miss you. photographing you and <laughs> interviewing you and squeezing you before COVID. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm so proud, we are so proud of what the future holds for you. We know that you're going to do great things because you have an excellent work ethic and you have an absolute gift. Thank you. Thank you, Megan. <laughs> State champion here. Yakini, how are you, darling? I'm great. How are you? I'm great. Good to see you. Nice to see you, too. Yakini, this is going to be our last time. I know. Oh, my gosh. You and I have been through a lot together. We have. <laughs> Plenty of interviews. <laughs> Plenty <yeah>. of interviews. <laughs> All right, Queen, share with everyone. Uh, tell them about you, things that you've been involved in, your family, and what, um, what this means for you now getting ready to graduate and go off to bigger and better things. Okay. Uh, my name is Yakini Martin. I am the daughter of Jarvis and Shatavia Martin. Mm -hmm. Love my parents, you know, shout out to them. <laughs> I've been involved in numerous things, let me put it that way. I've played plenty of sports, uh, volleyball, cross mm -hmm. country, basketball. Um, I'm involved in a, a lot of clubs, let me put it that way. <laughs> Anchor club, beta club, mm -hmm. FBLA. Uh, True Blue Committee, Skills USA, that's my heart right there. I'm proud to be the president of that wonderful organization. I'm also a uh, student body president, student council, <laughs> and I think that's about it. Madam President. Yes, ma'am. You know, when, when, you, when you listen to these young people, when they're talking about all the things that they're involved in, not only are they involved in, they're excelling in these things, and that's not easy. You have to absolutely be able to balance. You have to absolutely sacrifice so much of your time and energy that you put into other things in order to be able to do these things. Yes, so how has that been for you, Yakini? Because you have definitely, I mean, you're a state champion several times over. Yeah, three years in a row, you know, no biggie. No biggie, <laughs> no biggie. Homecoming queen, is that right? Yes, ma'am. Okay, okay. And so how have you been able to find that balance to do it all? How have you been able to? Definitely my freshman year, it was very hard, especially coming to a new school that's mm -hmm. huge, not knowing many people. I just had my same usual group of friends. Right. So I had to first put myself out there. And then when I got out there, I was like, okay, this is kind of harder than I thought. <laughs> But luckily, with the help of my parents and some great teachers here, my advisors, I was able to figure out ways to maneuver everything around my mm -hmm. schedule. And yes, I did miss out on a lot of free time, but in the end, I'm glad I did it. It helped me become who I am today and the successful person I am today, and mm -hmm. it set me up for the things that I want to achieve in life. That's right. And what's next for you? I will be attending Kennesaw State University. Hootie hoo. Go out. <laughs> yes. And I will be pursu the, pursuing a degree in political science nice. to potentially become a future congresswoman, you know. Oh, my goodness. I could see you. I could see you do that. You're already Madam President. You're one step closer. Yes, ma'am. And, you know, the, the goals that you have, I mean, having your family, you, you talk about bragging on your family, you know, having that family support has been paramount for you, hasn't it? Yes, ma'am. Absolutely. And then as you look at your peers here, so many that you've been involved in with so many different things. Is there anything, any message you want to give to them? 
I, first off, I want to say thank y'all. You know, we've made some of the best memories here, and I, I couldn't trade you guys for the world. And I just, I don't want any of you guys to become complacent in life and let the setbacks hold you back because nobody wants to go through life saying, man, I wish I would have accomplished this mm -hmm. or I wish I would have done this. Yeah. I just, I want you to go through life just living your best life, you know, just <laughs> live right. your best life. I love that. And you know, and you all have had some really great uh, educators and staff members and administrators that have been there with you all too to help mm -hmm. push you and to help support you. What do you want to say to them? Because they're watching yes. and they're, they themselves are so excited, <laughs> but at the same time, they're like, I'm going to miss them. What do you want to say to them? I want to give the biggest thanks to <laughs> all of them. If it weren't for them, I probably would not have been as involved as mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I am and I probably wouldn't have been as successful so I just want to say thank y'all for always motivating me and telling me you know just go for it what what could go wrong you know just pushing me to go out there and try my hardest and be there to pick me up after each fail and look at the fruit of their labor yes we're so proud of you Yakini thank you thank you we'll see you soon Progressive Rural Telephone Co-op offers a full range of communication products and services to its members in Lawrence County and surrounding areas. We take pride in being your total communications provider, and we work hard to provide quality services at the best prices. In addition to offering phone service, we provide high-speed internet and digital high-def TV. And we always strive to put our members first. Progressive Rural, your total communications company. Small enough to know you, large enough to serve you. ProgressiveTel.com. Call 478-984-4201 or stop by 890 Simpson Avenue in Rents. Progressive Rule Telephone Co-op. The City of Dublin Natural Gas provides the most cost-efficient source of energy available today. So for your home, choose the most natural resource. Safe, clean, efficient, all new subdivisions around the Dublin area have natural gas available. Start reducing your energy bills today with Dublin City Natural Gas Department. Natural gas, the smart choice. Call 277-5048 today and let us help you start saving today. And we are back, ladies and gentlemen. I tell you, you know, this has been a very interesting day, just getting the chance to meet some of the seniors, of course, I know most of them anyway, and then to just hear a little bit from them, and, and it's been really special. And we've got someone whom I have never, ever interviewed in my entire eight years of doing interviews here in Dublin. Yes, my name is Ariana <laughs> Williams. Hey, Ariana, how are you? Good, how are you? I'm good. So here we go. We're about to do this thing, all right? Yes, ma'am. All right. You've been watching all the interviews before, so share with us a little bit about you and your family and how this this uh, high school uh, experience has been for you? Yes, ma'am. My parents are Donna and Jeremy Williams, and I have been a part of a lot of organizations at West Lawrence High School. I have been a member of the Raider Brigade and the volleyball team all four years of high school. I was the president of Beta Club and Spanish Honor Society, which I have been a part of for all years of high school and I've been a part of the Anchor Club mm -hmm. and we had Junior Civitan my freshman year but we no longer have that club anymore but I was a part of that club and I've just been volunteering throughout the community at mm -hmm. Fairview Park Hospital and the Addington Place behind mm -hmm. the hospital and also at Serenity Hospice. Oh yeah you've been very busy. Yes ma'am. You've been very busy. So you're the president of the Spanish uh, so Spanish Honor Society. Do you speak Spanish? Uh I don't know. <laughs> Not oh. really. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I love that. And so here it is. So you're president of the, that uh, club. You were president of what other one? Of, Span of Beta Club. Of Beta Club. Yes. And so here you're an athlete. Yes, ma'am. How do, when do you slow down? Um, I kind of don't slow down. I try to keep myself busy to avoid like getting trapped into stuff that I probably shouldn't be a part of. So you make sure you stay busy because you know they say the idle mind is the devil's workshop. Yes ma'am. <laughs> 
And so what are you going to miss most about high school? I miss building bonds with the different people that I go to school with. Every mm -hmm. day I talk to somebody new and I enjoy it. I used to be a very shy individual, mm -hmm. so I didn't put myself out there as much as I do now. And I kind of like the person that I became when I put myself out there. So you're like the butterflies on your shirt. You have come open. You have come alive, yes, haven't you? And so after high school, what are you going to do with yourself? I plan on going to the College of Coastal Georgia in Brunswick and majoring in nursing to later become a labor and delivery nurse. Well, well, well. So all these volunteer hours you've been doing over there at the hospital and all this is going to help you, isn't it? Yes, ma'am. And so is there anyone else in your family that is in the medical field? My sister is. She just finished nursing school and she works at Fairview now. Wait a minute. Are you trying to fall into your sister's footsteps? Are you following behind her? Kind of, but not really. <laughs> <laughs> you're going your own, you're forging your own path. Yes, ma'am. You're forging your own path. Is there anything that you want to say to your uh, your peers, your, your graduating class? At, you're turning that tassel. Yes, ma'am. What do you want to say to them? I'm grateful for everything y'all have done for me. Y'all have encouraged me to do better and to put myself out there more and to not be afraid of what other people may say about you or the stuff that you do as long as you're enjoying yourself and having fun and it shouldn't matter what everybody else says about what you do. Look at you, Miss Thang. You have learned, you have grown up, haven't you? Yes, ma'am. All right. Well, we're excited about uh, your future career. Uh, that's a wonderful school down there in Brunswick, yes, beautiful area. Uh, come back and, and uh, I don't need you as a labor and delivery nurse, but come back so we can kind of talk <laughs> a little bit about how your career has been going. Yes, ma'am. And I heard you go to church with my niece. Is yes. that right? Yes, ma'am. Do you sing with her? She tries to get me to sing, but I'm still working on that. That's a work in progress. So I shouldn't ask you to sing? No, please don't. Okay, we'll leave it alone. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Thank you, darling. Thank you. Proud of you. Mm-mm. Hello. Hey. You're full of energy, you know. You're just a bundle I know. Of, I'm just a, you know. A bundle of joy. <laughs> I, I came in today just full of energy, ready I, for this interview. I see it all over you. All right, talk to us. Tell us who you are, your family, and talk to us about your high school time. Well, uh, I'm Parks Baird. I come from a pretty big family. Um, my parents, Brian Baird and Michelle Baird, which you may have seen if you live in Dublin, her uh, billboards around. Right. Uh, they've already gotten through three other kids before me uh, through high school. Mm -hmm. And uh, I started my high school career um, before the start of the year in band camp and going to early drama meetings, really mm -hmm. just following in the footsteps of my siblings. But uh, in, the, in those two, I really did, um, you know, uh, find my own. Yeah. Uh, my own path. Yeah. Uh, I've done drama for all four years and band for all four years, mm -hmm. just um, really just putting myself towards that and uh, keeping academics balanced with that. I, mm -hmm. I haven't fallen behind in grades. Yeah. I, you know, I, I've just kept it going. Parks, you're so talented. <laughs> you are so talented. So who in the family did you get your, uh, your musical inclination, your theatrical inclination? Who did that come from? Uh, my older sister, Erilyn, she did yeah. drama before me mm -hmm. and, you know, played clarinet in band. So she did, she did both and did drama for all four years, mm -hmm. would always sing in the house. And, yeah. um, you know, I, I just, uh, I got my interest from watching her, really. And, you know, when you're on stage, do you change? Do you come out of this? What do you, I mean, you know, you transform when you, whatever character it is, Parks, you are able to just transform into that character. How fun is that? Uh, it, it's pretty fun. I, I like to say that uh, you're never you when you're on stage. You're always yeah. somebody else. You're what, you're what, uh, you really need to just bring what uh, the writer has written for that character to life. You, you are that person yeah. when you're on stage. Um, I never want to be myself because then every, uh, every character just is me and that's not <laughs> fun to watch. You're always so fun to watch. Look at you. And so, Parks, here it is. You've been balancing all of this right here. You've been doing what you've loved for so long. And now here it is. Your high school career is coming to a close. Are you going to miss anything? Uh, I'm going to miss hanging out with my friends. They're all going to different colleges. So yeah. it's, it, it's going to be hard to try and, um, you know, balance with all that. But I'm excited to move forward. Uh, I'm going to the Savannah College of Art and Design to... Uh, to, for performing arts, um, 
just trying to, uh, you know, uh, you know, build more for that career. You, just, you see me, don't you? Yeah, I see. You know, if you all don't know how impressive SCAD is, I mean, you just don't know. Um, going to SCAD, being able to pursue what you have always loved, is this a dream for you, a dream come true for you? I've always said that it, I've always been a firm believer in um, do what you want uh, do, or do what you love and you'll never work a day in your life. Yeah. And uh, I, I just wanted to do what I love for the, the one life I live. I just want yeah. to, you know. And, you know, for you, for being uh, very theatrical, you know, you would, we could be very peculiar, couldn't we? <laughs> um, I, I, I'd least, say I'm a little At least weird. I've heard. <laughs> <laughs> what do you want to say to that group? Because they have been like family to you. Uh, I'd say really just do what you want, uh, do what you love yeah. in life, you know, like uh, mm -hmm. push for what you want to do because you only get one shot. That's right. You know? And the Raider Brigade. Yeah. Has that been your life for how long? Oh, be, uh, well, before I started high school, going to band camp and just wow. performing, uh, going out on the field, mm -hmm. uh, which really did prepare me for my first play, just like going yeah. on. Uh, and uh, performing on the field and in front of that crowd, mm -hmm. it, it's very similar. So yeah. yeah, what do you want to say to your band family? Oh, my band family. <laughs> uh, I mean, keep playing your <laughs> instruments. Keep that uh, keep that part of you alive because yeah. there's so many that just like leave band and they never touch an instrument in their life again. That's right. And you're going on to continue and do bigger and better things. Yeah. Congratulations to the Parks. Proud of you. Thank you. At Dexter Meat Company, we provide high quality, custom cut, certified Angus beef, and it's cut fresh every day. At Dexter Meat, we're known for our classic favorites, including barbecue meals, whole hogs, chicken, ribs, and get this, everyone's favorite, pimento cheese by the pound, baked potato salad, buttermilk biscuits, peach, blueberry, apple, and blackberry cobbler, cakes, honey, mac and cheese, green bean casserole, and more. Are you hungry yet? Too busy to cook this week? Then call 875-1234 and let Dexter Meat feed your family of four or 400. Dexter Meat, closed on Monday and open 10 till 6, Tuesday through Saturday. Check us out on Facebook or online at DexterMeatCompany.com. Dexter Meat. Winners of the Georgia Barbecue Association Team of the Year. We are Dexter Meat Company in downtown Dexter. Thinking about what to do after high school? How about jumping directly into your future? Oconee Fall Line Technical College offers hundreds of programs to prepare students for the real world. From business to healthcare to professional and technical services, our graduates go straight into a career. And tuition, surprisingly affordable. At Oconee Fall Line Technical College, you will succeed sooner. Apply today at OFTC.edu. Well, well, well. <laughs> <laughs> hey, sugar. Hey, Miss Pat. How are you? You giggling and sniggling already. I guess so. I guess so. Uh, you know I'm going to miss all this with you. Me too. I'm going to miss it. <laughs> I, have to, I have to have a pose. <laughs> Introduce yourself to everyone, tell us about your family, and talk to us about the many things that you've had the privilege of doing in your high school years. Um, I'm Claire Johnson, and my sisters are my sisters. Who are your sisters? Oh, oh I'll start with that. <laughs> um, my sisters are Abby and Emily Johnson, and then my parents are Jeff and Melinda Johnson. And then I've held uh, many different leadership positions in the community and school and through my church and stuff. Um, I've been the student I'm currently student advisor in FFA and I've also been the service project chair in Anchor Club and then I'm also in Beta and National Honor Society and a few others. Claire you are so busy. I try. <laughs> you are so very busy. What do you love most about your life? Because I mean you and I've interviewed on a numerous numerous occasions different clubs things that you've been doing all the different accolades that you can't even care to mention there's so many what do you love about all this? Um, I like being busy and having things to do. And I also, mm -hmm. like, through all this, I feel like I've just, like, grown as a person and yeah. really learned how to um, handle different situations and do all that. So probably just, like, the learning experiences through all of this. Yeah. And, you know, uh, for you, after high school, where do you plan on going? 
Uh, Truett McConnell. Truett McConnell. Yes, and what are you going to study? Um, psychology, and then do something with that. Yeah. As a career. As a career. Very good. And so for you, um, your parents, your family has always been there for you, haven't they? Yes, ma'am. And you know I know your family. What do you want to say to them? Because when you leave the house, it's still it's going to be a little different for them. You know that. It is. I'm a little <laughs> concerned for them because they'll be empty nesters, but they'll, they'll do fine. Empty nesters, honey. That's a whole different ball game. Right. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> it's a, I'm very thankful for all of them. Yeah. And with my dad being a teacher at the school, it's been very... Um, it's been very good for him to be here. So if I ever have like a stressful situation, I always can go talk mm -hmm. to him or whatever. Um, so that's been really good. Yeah. Well, we're so excited for you. I mean, you are hilarious. As Thank you me. all can tell, I gave her the thumbs up because I've been photographing her for many years and her signature pose is the thumbs up. And I would always try to tell her, <clears throat> give me something else. And she goes, I got nothing else, Miss Pat. And so that's what <laughs> I'm going to miss that. Thank you. Thank I'm going to miss I'll pass it on to someone else. I'll train them. Train them. Train them. Congratulations to you. I mean, we're so excited for what's happening for you and your in the future for you. I mean, it's always been a joy and a pleasure to get to see you and chat with you. And so thank you. You too, Miss Got to miss you, darling. Going to miss you. Thank you, Claire. You're welcome. Mm. This is my little cousin. Hello, Diamond. Hey, how are you? Good. How are you? You were just on a. You were just having a, a brace on your leg a few weeks ago. Yes, ma'am. I just got off today. And now I've traded places with you. <laughs> <laughs> Diamond, share with us about you, your family, and talk to us about the many things that you've been involved in here at high school. My name is Dominique Ashley, and my parents are Andrea and Anthony Ashley. And throughout the years, I've been in many sports at school, including volleyball, basketball, softball. I'm sorry, not softball. And I've been in Anchor Club, Beta Club, FBLA, Skills USA, Spanish Honor Society. And outside of school, I'm a part of Citizens Bank Youth Council Advisory Board, City of Dublin Youth Council, where I serve as an at-large representative. And I've also been in Team Court, where I serve as a prosecutor. Diamond, that's a lot right there yes, on your resume. It is. And for you now, you you you're involved in so many different things. Did you ever do you ever find time to just relax? Um, usually my little relaxed days are on Sundays. And what do you do on Sundays? Sleep. <laughs> During the ser church service, or you <laughs> <laughs> when I get back home. When you get back home. And so, Diamond, what has been what has uh, been your motivation? Because when you're involved in a lot of different things, which as you all can tell, a lot of these students are it can get very discouraging because you've got so much going on and you're trying to make sure that you're keeping the balance. So what motivates you to keep going? My motivation would have to be like the love of God and my dad. He motivates me a lot. And also when I was dancing, it really helped me express my feelings more. Mm-hmm. This young lady danced during a pageant with a brace on. And how did you do? I did pretty good I paid for it after you paid for that but here it is this drive and this determination that you have so high school once high school is over what's next for you I'll be going to Kennesaw where I'll be majoring in nursing gonna be a nurse who else in the family is a nurse um, no one that I know of well you can doctor on me you can nurse on me <laughs> on this knee of mine you know and being a part of your family and knowing uh, your parents your grandparents your aunts your uncles Knowing um, how supportive your family is of you and knowing how proud they are of you, um, what message do you want to give to your support system? Um, I just want to thank y'all so much for everything that y'all have done for me, even through my medical experiences. <laughs> and um, I think my parents are going to be really worried about me going to Kennesaw, you know, up in the big city. I'm really a little country girl. Mm -hmm. But I'm also going to be worried about them, too, with me being the only child. And, Y'all pray for him. Pray <laughs> for him. Another, another empty nest at house, right? Yes, ma'am. I'm going to have to check on you too, Diamond. <laughs> so very proud of you. So proud of the energy that you have and how you uh, have such a genuine spirit with what you do and what you love doing. Thank you. Look forward to what the future holds. Thank you. All right, baby. Call me if you need me. <laughs> mm.
you all here are making all kind of gestures here. It's because I genuinely have such a special relationship with these students, don't I? You do. And I have such a special relationship with them as to where I can make different comments and noises and they know right where I'm coming from. Hey, yep. darling. Hey, Miss Pat. Good to see you. Good to see you too. Tell us who you are. Tell us about your family and let's hear about all the things that you've been doing here at high school. Yes, ma'am. My name is Sydney Intrican. I'm the daughter of Ricky and Beth Intrican. I am one of three children. Um, my two old, I have two older siblings, so my parents are going to be empty nesters as well. Mom and Daddy actually have a running joke that this is now they're going to find out if they actually like each other because there ain't no kids in the house to distract they shall see. They, don't. they shall see. <laughs> so, um, and I'm in Anchor Club, Beta Club, National Honor Society, and Skills USA. I did opening and closing team with Claire, who was just up here a little bit mm -hmm. ago, um, and I. Per, and outside of school at my church I do um, I volunteer with Awana and that's probably one of my favorite times of the week is because those kids I'm in the cubby so it's like three and four year olds oh so they say God. some very interesting things so it's really funny they'll get Bible stories mixed up sometimes mm -hmm. and they'll say some funny stuff and it's really enjoyable to get to be around them and watch them grow look at that Sydney I mean you have done I mean you have done so many different things and you have been a light to so many different people. And these little kids. Yep. When they said, Jesus was in the belly of the whale. Wait, wait, no, it wasn't. <laughs> yes. When you're, when you're able to um, build those kind of relationships with peers of your own age and still and the volunteer work that you're doing with these little kids, you're very well-rounded. Yes. Uh, how, where does that come from? Uh, my mom was really good at uh, managing a lot of things, mm -hmm. but my dad would probably like me to give him some credit too, but <laughs> I'm just kidding. But uh, my parents have done a really good job of helping me, like t from a young age, teaching me managing my time and like mm -hmm. managing things and like compartmentalizing different things. Mm -hmm. So it helps me to stay more organized yeah. um, when I do have all these things that I have going on at once. It's just easier to keep them all in line. Do you keep one of those planners and you have to-do lists? Do I have do a big dry erase calendar that I have stuff listed is out Is it color-coded? Uh, it is. Birthdays are in green and <laughs> special events are in red. I don't know why I knew that, but I just, I just knew it, Sydney. Yep. And so what do you want to say to... So there's a lot of young people that are very involved in different things. But some, are have, some have a very difficult time to keep that balance. Mm -hmm. What do you want to say to them to encourage them on what they need to do to be able to stay balanced so that they can be not only involved in different things, but also to be effective? Yep. When you have a planner and you have all of your things listed out and you look at it as a whole, it looks overwhelming, all these things written out and jumbled together, and it's just very overwhelming. But when yeah. you take them day by day and piece by piece, you'd be amazed at the things you can get accomplished and the things that you can do and how effective you can be. And sometimes when you're doing all those things and you're in the rush of it, you don't feel any, um, like you don't feel like you're getting anything. But every now and then you'll have somebody that tells you like, hey, thank you for doing that or mentioning yeah. something that you did a while ago and that makes it all worth it, which you don't do things for gratification, but sometimes it does feel good to just be acknowledged and yeah. have things that you do like pointed out. Absolutely. Well, it's always a pleasure chatting with you. I'm going to miss that, this time that we normally would have together. Yes, ma'am, I am um, too. What's next once you turn that tassel? I'm going to uh, universe, or Georgia Southern, mm -hmm. and I'm going to major in accounting. Look at you. Yep. Counting that money. Yes. And your parents are empty, going to be empty nesters. They are. But my sister did have, uh, recently have a child, so I'm sure the grandbaby will be there. It there it is. There it is. Lord All bless All the time. <laughs> The yep. Lord knew. I always mess with Mama because I used to say I used to be a lock screen. Now the baby is. So. That's, that's right. Kick to the curb. I've been kick, replaced. Kick to the curb. Yep. Congratulations to you for everything that you've accomplished. So very, very proud of you. Thank you. Look forward to our our our, our paths crossing again. Yes, okay? ma'am. Me too. Thank you, Sydney. Thank you. At City of Hope Heart and Vascular Center, we do your heart right. Count on Dr. Collins A. Cortang, MD, FACC, FSCAI, and his competent staff to treat you with specialties in internal medicine, echocardiology, nuclear cardiology, general adult cardiology, and interventional cardiology. Other areas of expertise that Dr. K and his complete staff can help you with are acute and chronic heart attack management, peripheral interventions to save legs, heart rhythm abnormalities, 
So count on the professional and knowledgeable staff at Dr. Cortang's City of Hope today. Call 478-353-1970, City of Hope Heart and Vascular Center. See us today at 207A Fairview Park Drive in Dublin. If you've never had a cardiologist or if you need a second opinion, come see City of Hope Heart and Vascular Center today. The way the world is today, go, 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 go. Things just seem so out of control. That's why the things we can control are so important. That's why we're members of our electric co-op. The whole reason the co-op exists is to bring us the electricity we need. So they look out for us. They invest in the best technology you can get just to keep the power on. Not because they have to. They actually do it because it's the right thing to do. Hey, baby girl. I miss Pat. <laughs> you and I go way, way back. Yes, we do. <laughs> I think the, let, let you introduce yourself first. Introduce yourself to everyone. Tell us about your family and uh, some of the things that you've been doing your, uh, during your high school career. And then we're going to go back <laughs> and talk about how you and I first met. <laughs> yes, okay. ma'am. My name is Marina Daniels. I'm the daughter of John and Polly Daniels. And here at the school, I'm involved in the drama club where I'm the vice president the band, the chorus, beta club, and National Honor Society. You are a smarty pants, <laughs> and you're a performer. Yes, ma'am. Very you much You sing so. opera? Sometimes, yes. <laughs> Marina. Now, here it is. So when, I, when you and I first met, mm -hmm. you had written a book. Yes. And I got the call, and they said, OK, we need you to interview this young author. And when I met you, how old were you then? Oh, I was in seventh grade, so like... Like 12, maybe 13? Yeah, yeah 12, 13, somewhere around and there. And you were a little fireball. <laughs> yes, ma'am. You left a lasting impression <laughs> on me. And, you know, uh, you know, developing a, a friendship with your grandmother and uh, yeah. your mom and, and just seeing how you have flourished <laughs> yes, through the years. What are you going to miss most about your high school experience? Oh, I'm probably going to miss the drama club. Yeah. I'm definitely going to miss the drama club the most. We have so much fun. We're like a little family in there, and we all get along, and our plays are just oh, everything about drama. I'm gonna you miss. know, as a fellow performer, <laughs> yes. I understand what that means to you. When you're talking about uh, performing arts mm -hmm. and that group of, of people that you, because you have to become very raw yeah. when it when it comes to performing a certain piece, and and so they see you in a very uh, very raw state, and and to be able to build one another up and to yeah. encourage one another and to be able to trust one another on that stage, that is your family. Yes, ma'am. Oh my gosh, I know you're gonna miss that so much. Yes, I am. I'm gonna miss that a lot. And so you've made a lot of connections. Yes, ma'am. You've made a lot of connections through the years, and you know, for you. Um, you're that type of person where you've got a confidence and a self-confidence <laughs> and it's like when you open that mouth of yours people are amazed thank you you're gonna you plan on doing something with that aren't you yes ma'am tell us about your future plans well after this year i have to finish up my associates because i only have nine classes left mm -hmm. at gmc and then after that i'm hopefully going to get into a very very competitive Musical Theater School, Bernal University in Gainesville, Georgia. Bernal. <laughs> Y'all got to keep in touch with yeah, me. I will. To let me know how you're doing. And, and so for you, here it is, you understand what it requires. Mm -hmm. You understand what it requires to be able to perform at that level, yeah. at that status, and you've been working really hard. Yeah. Marina, have you taken a break at all? Not, not really, only for the quarantine. Oh, that was about it. <laughs> no other choice. No other yeah, choice. Yeah, no I had to take choice. a break. <laughs> what do you want to say to uh, young people who have those aspirations, who have been singing or performing at an early age, and now here it is mm -hmm. with you. You've been doing it. You're progressing. You're progressing. What do you want to say to encourage those young people or that young Marina? <laughs> well, it's going to be very hard because it is a very, very yeah. tough field. But it is so worth it. The people that you meet and the fun memories that you make. If you want that, go get it. 
And you're definitely yes. doing that. Yes, ma'am. You're definitely doing that. So we look forward to seeing your, your name and lights, <laughs> right? Yes, Don't forget us, little people. I won't. Don't I won't forget be. us. I will not. All right, Marina. So proud of you, darling. <laughs> Thank you. We'll be seeing you around. Thank you. Thank you, baby. What? Well, hi, darling. How are you? I'm good. Thank you. You've been waiting a while to come up here. You ready? Just a bit, <laughs> maybe. You ready for it? Hopefully. Okay. <laughs> Share with us who you are, tell us about your family, and some amazing things that have been happening for you during your high school time. Okay, I'm Catherine Ray. Um, my parents are Kristen and Deary Ray. Uh, in high school, I've done quite a few things. Mm -hmm. The drama club was one of my favorites, and uh, I've done chorus and band as well, in mm -hmm. which I've made quite a few lovely friends and had great times and made very fun memories. Catherine, that's your family, isn't it? It is. That is your family. What I just said with Marina, I know you were shaking your head because you're like, uh, that's the truth, Ms. Pat. <laughs> it really is. It though. is the truth. And you know, and I think with you being a performer, does it allow you to be able to step out of that shell? It does. Usually I'm not very talkative to people I don't know, but through performing and theater, you're able to sing songs that allow you to express all of yeah. those feelings that you just kept within you. And how old were you when you first started singing? Um, I didn't actually really start seeing much until my freshman year when I was kind of pushed into drama mm -hmm. and found my love for it. But and now you found your voice for it. Yes. You found your voice. And so after high school, so you know, you guys are going to be graduating shortly. Are you excited? Are you nervous? Are you what? I think it's going to be very bittersweet because yeah. I'll be leaving many lovely things behind that I'll miss, but I'm also going to go off and hopefully do lots of things that I'll love and find new. Um, That's right. Loves. New collect, new new connections. Mm -hmm. And so what's next for you? Uh, next, uh, I'm going to be attending the University of Georgia mm -hmm. uh, to hopefully um, go pursue education and teaching mm -hmm. of mm -hmm maybe foreign languages or also teaching English to speakers of other languages. Oh my goodness, uh, darling. This is fantastic. I also want to try and add musical theater in there somewhere, mm -hmm. like maybe as a minor. Yeah. I love it Squeeze so much. it in there somewhere because you've got to be able to have, you know, with everything that you're studying, you've got to be able to have that, that part of you, you know, to be able to do something that you love where you're able to relax, come alive, and be whomever you need to be, right? Yes. you got to keep in touch with us. Let us know how things are going for you. We're so excited about what's next for you, and we know that you're going to do well. Thank you. Thank you, darling. Very good. Would you like to reduce your energy cost, boost your air conditioning efficiency, and reduce the chances of structural damage due to termites, rot, and mold? Call Dry Zone Crawl Space and Foundation Specialists today at 478-410-2847. My name is uh, Phil Patel. I am one of the part owners here and the general manager here at the Hampton Inn & Suites. First time when I got introduced to Morris Bank, the people were so friendly and helpful. You feel like that you are appreciated there. At Morris Bank, everybody down at the bank is so friendly, and not just to myself, they're just friendly to everybody. They want us to succeed because our success is their success at the same time. That makes a lot of difference, and they're always there for us. Well, hello. Hello. Nice to see you. You too. You have done this before. Yes, we have. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us who you are. Tell uh, us about your family. Catch us up on what your life has been like these past four yes, years. Yes, ma'am. Well, my name is Jay Patel. I'm the son of Navdeep and Dipali Patel, and I've went to West Lawrence all four years. I've participated in many clubs and held leaderships. Like, I'm in... I'm the historian for National Honor Society. Mm -hmm. I'm the fundraising chair for Anchor, vice president for Skills, and vice president for FBLA. I'm a member of Beta Club, and then I'm also the city attorney for the Dublin Youth Council. Uh, Mr. Patel, you're very involved. You've got a lot of leadership po positions <laughs> that you are. You know, have you always been a leader? No, nah, freshman year, I was very nervous coming in. I usually mm -hmm. was just a member, but then talking to upperclassmen and other people mm -hmm. around me inspired me to pursue many leadership positions. So you came out of that <clears throat> shell? Yes, ma'am. You're very talkative now? Yeah, that's <laughs> what my friends say, at least. 
And so what has been the most, ex most rewarding thing about your high school experience? Most rewarding? I guess the, f the re relationships you make with others mm -hmm. through leadership camps and just friends, friends outside of school and in school, those are probably mm -hmm. the most that I cherish in high school. And you know, we often talk about what you're gonna miss. Uh, what are you not gonna miss? I'm not gonna miss waking up at six in the morning or <laughs> sleeping at like 12 or one in the morning doing all sorts of stuff. <laughs> and so now, okay, so that means you're going off to college, yes, right? And so that means you've got to make sure that the classes you choose are not. Oh, afternoon classes, I'm going oh, for you're those. <laughs> I'm going to go for afternoon classes. <laughs> so, uh, so what is happening for you after high school? So where do you plan on going to school? I plan to attend Emory University and mm -hmm. major in biology and maybe minor in finance and hopefully get into med school and be an orthopedic surgeon. To work on my knee? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I'll try to hold out. How many years will this take you? It's about a good 12 years. Oh, oh. I don't know, baby. <laughs> you can make it. <laughs> we'll see. And you know, for you, I mean, you have these great ambitions, you know, and I think that um, for you, the connections that you've made in high school, I think, has that helped you to be able to make some of the decisions that you're making and to be able to flourish the way you are? Yes, ma'am. Like friends, they help me guide, they guide me. They also have advised me on time management. My parents are really mm -hmm. good at time management, so they always give me advice. Whenever I look up to them when I have a problem, they always somehow got an answer. And now here it is, you're going off to college and you're going to uh, have afternoon classes. Of course. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> <laughs> we're, so, we're so very proud of you. Anything that you want to say to your peers? Yeah, um, thank you guys for such loving memories and inspiring me to become leaders. You guys are truly an inspiration, and it's been a great four years. It has been. Mm -hmm. All right, we look forward to uh, hearing more about you. Yes, ma'am. You thank and me, we need to talk. <laughs> <laughs> Let me know after 12 years. I got after you. 12 years. <laughs> thank you You're so welcome. much, Jonathan. Thank you. <laughs> Ooh, we'll see how we can do, y'all. Hey, what's that? <laughs> hey, baby doll. Hey. How are you? Good. We go way back. <laughs> we go. This is how far we go way back. All right. Let me let me let you introduce yourself okay. to everybody. You do your elevator speech. Okay. And we're gonna rewind. Sounds great. All right. Well, I'm Tinsley Bailey. Uh, my parents are Jay and Kathy Bailey. You know all about my big crazy family. I um, I've got four other brothers and sisters, four siblings, and um, you know I'm involved a lot um, with tennis. Um, that's my sport. That's my big passion. Mm -hmm. uh, we actually I played singles um, here at the high school my entire four years here. Uh, we made it to Sweet 16. Mm -hmm. I was really excited about that. Mm -hmm. um, and then a few other years we've made it to Final Four, Sweet 16 again. So great, great track record with the tennis team I'm really sad to be leaving them um, but then also you know big accomplishments um, mm -hmm. we interviewed last time for a homecoming court which was so exciting yes. uh, and then a big accomplishments just like lots of clubs uh, National Honor Society Beta Club mm -hmm. uh, FCA uh, Leadership Academy um, Anchor Club Tinsley so listen guys I had approached their whole family how many years ago? Probably six years or it so was a while ago. Back. I wanted to come out there to your house. Do a little show. And do a little show. A <laughs> yes. little day in the life. I remember that. And we were talking about that at Bell. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> we we were ran to into you. That. It never happened. Sad. And it would it would have been a great show. It would have been a great show. We'd already <laughs> like planned it out. You know, we had already figured out how we were gonna do it. Oh, yeah. And now here you are. You know, whenever I see you, you already know how I feel, right? Yes, ma'am. Um, how was I when I saw you at the prom? Oh my gosh, overwhelmed. You were yeah. like, girl, you look so stunning. You were like, that dress on you. She was like, you stole the night. <laughs> Honey. <laughs> and you know, I get excited like that with, the, with these kids because for me, the, because of these relationships. Yes. And, and, it's, and seeing you guys uh, excel, seeing you do something, you know, that's so special, that's so, you know, amazing i get just as excited for you guys yes thank you and to know you know what you all experienced you know your mm -hmm. losses your gains yes. and then to see where you are now your sisters seeing your seeing your siblings mm -hmm. it's a beautiful thing thank you it is and so for you if you had to pull everything together from your high school experience what has the, been the most amazing the most amazing are yeah. my friends, the connections that I've made yeah. here. Um, when I started high school, I 
like really did not have any friends other than just like you know a few acquaintances I'm a big people person as mm -hmm, you know mm -hmm. uh, just enjoy hanging out with everyone um, but my amazing Christian friends who install everything about the Lord and mm -hmm. just as my dad has and my mom has in me um, just your connections here that you build throughout high school is definitely the most amazing and most important um, significant thing that's contributed to me and who I am and when you talk about these connections these are connections that help you get through tough times oh, yes. don't they oh yeah and you they've been that for me and you know this you know with these exciting times we know that we've all we've experienced some very difficult things and to be able to have friends and peers who've been there for you to help pull you along the way that's extra special it is and and you know after you turn the tassel Tinsley, what's happening with you? I'm going to uh, Barry College. Uh, really excited about that. Nice. So my father's definitely not um, an empty nester. You know, he has four oh. other kids, but <laughs> right. I'm the first one he's doing it with. So he's a little, you know, he, right. he's, he's he a has, little nervous. Exactly. I have to check he he on has Jay. to let go a little bit. Good, yeah. good. Be there for him. What are you going to major in? Uh, business, uh, really, and business marketing. I'm really excited about that. Yes, ma'am. Uh, Tinsley, you're going to be great. Thank you. You've got the personality for it. When I was majoring in, <laughs> in, in uh, marketing and management, the professor, the first thing he told me, he said, you've got to be able to sell a refrigerator to an Eskimo. Can, and honey, can you it? can already sell too. <laughs> Love that. To you, Miss Beth. To, to me. You. <laughs> to me. And so anything that you want to say to uh, the people out there that are watching, because these are very bittersweet moments. Yes. You've got a lot of families and that are going to be empty nesters, of course not your dad, <laughs> but you've got a lot, you know, kids are leaving, they're going off to, uh, to do, uh, you know, to pursue their dreams. Yes. And so what do you want to say to encourage those families out there? Um, I would like to say everyone to uh, stay true to yourself. High school is a big adjustment, a big change for a lot of people all those four years. Um, and I just want to remind all my friends and all my peers, um, stay true to yourself. You know, remember who you are, that foundation that your parents have installed for you, um, what you believe, don't let anyone change your mind, you know, stand up for what you believe in and always be kind to everyone. Mm. You said it wonderfully. Thank, <laughs> Thank you so you. much, Tinsley. So very proud of you. We got to keep in touch. Yes, ma'am. We still need to do that show now before we it's too it late. got to get started. <laughs> I'm ready. So proud of you. Thank you. This is Tinsley. Hi, I'm Don Carswell here at Dublin Chevy Nissan. We don't want to get back to normal. We want to get better than normal. Our people are working harder than ever to earn your business, whether it's in sales or service. We have plenty of Nissans to choose from and we'll offer you a great buying experience. And folks, there's never been a better time to get more money for your trade. And remember, Don sells cars well only at Dublin Chevy Nissan. Hello, my name is Reggie Gay. I'm the owner and operator of Middle Georgia Insurance right here in Dublin, Georgia. We're excited about a new law that just went into effect on February 15th, there is a new special enrollment period with the healthcare marketplace. It runs through August the 15th, and for anyone that doesn't have current health insurance, has an opportunity to get health insurance without having to wait for the next open enrollment this fall. This has never been done since the healthcare marketplace has begun. So take advantage of that now before time runs out. At Middle Georgia Insurance, we are continuously working and searching for right plans in the marketplace. Come by today and see us at 1307 Bellevue Avenue right here in Dublin. No cavemen, no lizards, just great insurance. We are back and I tell you, I mean, this day has been, to say bittersweet is an understatement. It's been exciting. And at the same time, you know, for me, I'm getting to meet some of the kids that I have never really had a conversation with. And now look, we have to my right, the valedictorian himself. How are you, son? I'm doing good. How about you? I'm doing well. Congratulations to you. Thank you. Now, this is our first interview ever. Yes, ma'am. All right. Are we ready for this? Um, yes, I believe I, so. You believe so. Share with the people out there. Tell us who you are and, and tell us who your family is, okay? And, and uh, you've transitioned here, so tell us about you know, what your transition has been like for you to yes, be where you are today, okay? Yes, ma'am. My name is Nick Jackson, and I'm the son of um, Deidre and Shane Jackson, and I've got a little brother named Ryan, and I came from Howard High School in Macon about two years ago, and it's just, it's just been really great to have the opportunity to become a Raider, and everybody here was so welcome, and it was easy to get adjusted and acclimated, and I just feel like family now, even though it's only been two years. I feel like I've been here since I was a kid. 
Look at you. That's really special to say, Nick. And so during these two years, of course, academically, you've been academically sound. What other right. things have you been involved in? What extracurricular activities, any kind of sports that you've been doing? Tell us about that. I mean, primarily I've been involved in FCA. I'm on the leadership team. Mm -hmm. And my biggest role here at the school is probably in FFA. I'm mm -hmm. actually the reporter for the officer team this year. Mm -hmm. And I mean, that's like a family in itself, just being a part of them. Um, we had our banquet the other night and it was just, it was amazing. I'm sad to go. It's, yeah. it's sad to let go of some of these things and FFA is a big one. That's why I met, I remember seeing you the other night when I was taking your yes, pictures. And I'm like, who is this? And so here it is, Nick, you know, you've been able to uh, become more ingrained with uh, your peers. And, you know, how difficult was it for you to transition? Because, you know, when you're talking about your high school, your high school time is very important. And, you know, as a military family, we had to transition a lot. And I remember my son moved here his senior year, and it was very difficult to try to get things, you know, all those pieces to fit. That's Tell nice. us how was that for you, that transition? Well, really the hardest part was before I got here. Mm -hmm. um, like I, that was the nerves, that was the biggest thing. Yeah. But once I got settled, it didn't take long, a couple of days and I met people like Caroline Pollock, who I had in my Spanish class. Mm -hmm. And on the cross country team, I met Tucker Brown. And oh, yeah. they got me involved at Dudley Baptist, which really turned everything around. I got to meet a lot of people mm -hmm. and it was just smooth for the most part. Um, I mean, I know pretty much everybody that's interviewed and we're all that. good friends. And mm -hmm. I mean, they're some of the, my favorite people. That's, so you run cross country. I did my junior year. Your junior year. Time. Did you retire after that? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. too, cross too country much. is, it's, it's, whew. It's a lot. You just running. You like, do, you like Forrest Gump. You yes, just running. And so for you, here it is, you are the valedictorian. How much, uh, how do you balance everything to be able to make sure that you're at the top of your game academically? I mean, really, I just try to, I mean, I study when I need to and mm -hmm. I, when I can, when I don't think uh, it's like that important in the moment, mm -hmm. I just try to be like relax. I try to, yeah. you know, go watch a Netflix show or hang out with friends. Mm -hmm. And I mean, I don't try to beat myself up. I try to make sure I can handle everything that I take yeah. on. And yeah. I mean, everything runs pretty smoothly at that point. So you know how to kind of step back Yes, and take a breath. What's your favorite show on Netflix? Mm, that, it was Friends and The Office, but you know they just decided to scrap both of those two. And those are classics. Yes, ma'am. I'm the type person, though, Nick, full disclosure, that when I start watching a series, I got to finish the whole thing. Like, yes, I can't go to another one. Yeah, I, I've watched it probably <laughs> three, four times through. And, <laughs> and so yeah. here it is, Nick. You're able to relax. You're able to keep that balance. In these two years of transitioning here to West Lawrence, you've been able to make some probably lifelong friends connections, right? Yes, ma'am. A lot of them. A lot of them. And so, you know, graduation night, man, morning, you're going to have to give that speech. Ooh. Yeah. That's, are you, are you ready scary. for it? I mean, I think I am. You know, I, I mean, right now I'm saying, yes, let's go. But mm -hmm. when I step up and I see what 1,500, 2,000 people could be out there, you know, it's, it's going to be, be a good intimidating. Crowd. And it might be a little, a little spicy, hot. Yes, and so, how long does the speech have to be? Bill told us five to seven minutes, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. mine's sitting at seven thirty right now. So Woo! I gotta figure gotta out how to scrap some stuff. Scrap a little stuff. You got any any jokes in there between? Mm. No jokes. Maybe not. I, I'm not really the joking type. <laughs> For those that know me, they know I don't really. You're gonna be just very straightforward. Yes, ma'am. I'll right. tell them what they need to hear. Tell them what mm -hmm. I think would help them along and. And then there, go to and that's it. Yes, ma'am. What's next after you turn the tassel, Nick? University of Georgia. University of Georgia. Now, is that a family school? Are you falling in line with family members that attended University of Georgia? No, ma'am. It's just been, I mean, it's been a dream since, mm -hmm. you know, I really started high school, you know, growing up watching the dogs. Yeah. I mean, I never had the size to be on the field with them, but, you know, I'm going to be in the stands in the student section. You know, Evan Davis, Ellen oh, yeah. Newsom, they're going to be right there with me. We're going to be cheering them on. This is gonna be exciting. What do you plan on majoring in? Agribusiness as of right now, but that could change any moment. Look at you. A fortune cookie could tell me something different and I'd change it, you know. I'd... Confucius says, yeah. either way, you are, you're taking the right steps that you need to yes, be able to do what's, 
you know, hopefully it's going to be a lifelong career for you, right? Yes, ma'am. Well, we're excited for you. Uh, we're excited about what the future holds for you, Nick. I'm telling you, I mean, this is big for all of us and, and your family, your support system have yes, been there for you every step of the way. Yes, ma'am. Anything you want to say me. to them? I just want to say thank you to everybody that's been supporting me and to those that may not be graduating with me. Um, mm -hmm. Those that have time left, I just want to tell y'all not to spend too much time stressing about the future and just to enjoy the moment. Live in it, love it, and when it, when the future comes, enjoy that too. That's all you got to focus on. Very good. Keep enjoying life, Nick. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Nick Jackson, the valedictorian here at West Lawrence High School. Georgia Military College is a two-year associate's degree granting institution. We are an open admissions college. What that means is all you need to do is have a high school diploma or a GED to get accepted into GMC. We offer several associate's degree programs including business administration, pre-nursing, psychology, criminal justice, as well as education. We offer classes during the morning, evening, and at night. We even offer some weekend classes. We offer online classes as well as in-seat classes, whatever is convenient for you and your schedule. We are located at 200 South Jefferson Street in Dublin, Georgia. If you want a great education with small class sizes, affordable tuition, we would love to see you here. Stop by to see us or give us a call. Start here, go anywhere. Georgia Military College, Dublin campus. At Lakes Alignment, we would like to take this time to thank our community for your support over the last 66 years, and especially these last few months with the opening of our brand new truck center. When you drive into Lakes Alignment, you get master trained technicians like Anthony Penny. Everybody calls him Bug, but it means so much to us. And on behalf of Neil Harden, Lisa, our staff, and the entire Lake family, we thank you for supporting us since 1954. Come see us today. We open every morning at eight o'clock and now our truck center is open on Saturday to serve your big trucks and equipment from eight until 12. At Lakes Alignment, we thank you and this entire community and will continue to serve you with the best trained staff and friendly, courteous service. Lakes Alignment. Hometown people serving hometown people. Come see us today, 104 Johnson Street, East Dublin. Well, well, hello, my friend. Hey, nice to see you. Nice to see you, too. All right, now, Will, talk to us. Uh, you know, tell everybody who you are. Tell us who your family is. And, you know, mm -hmm. your high school career, what's that been, what has that entailed? Tell us about some things you've been involved in. All righty, then. So I come from uh, my parents, of course. Mm -hmm. <laughs> of course. And of uh, that part, I would like to go ahead and thank everyone that was part of my family. My mm -hmm. mom, who came after work all the way until 6 p.m. at the night to pick me up from the elementary school so I could get the tutoring and the resources to come and to get mm -hmm. such a program. Uh, actually, it's the reason why I got into math and subsequently aerospace engineering later on. Mm -hmm. So without her, I probably wouldn't be here. And also special thanks to my father, yeah. who works several hours every day in order to provide. Look at that. And both my sisters, who would also provide tutoring even after all of that so they could, you know, get into the program and not fail. Yes. <laughs> you know, I've had the great it's pleasure uh, of meeting some of your family. Uh, yes, ma'am. Such a delight, such a delight. And so some of the things that you've been involved in, uh, Will, tell us about those in high school. Uh, so actually I left uh, high school a year early and if you don't count coronavirus as part of your high school career, I've only been in the high school for the first two and a half years and then I went to college. Yes, um, dual enrollment, how's that been for you? Uh, so it's a little bit special-ish <laughs> because I actually right. went to live on campus. I was actually a first year freshman uh, I'll actually be entering Georgia Tech in the upcoming uh, fall semester after these classes this um, summer as mm -hmm. a fourth semester student. Oh my gosh, well um, this is exciting for you. Yeah, how, and, was your, how was your transition? Oh, uh, honestly, I think most of the me of the more meaningful things should be saved till the end, near the <laughs> elevator steps. Right, right, um, right. We're, but, we're taking the steps, don't worry. We're taking them. <laughs> and, but most likely though, the transition was honestly, 
a little bit sad at first. Mm -hmm. And these are the things I'll just be talking about later on. Yeah. But the main gist of it is is that even though you're stuck in a room 24-7, right? like the size of this little interview room, yes. uh, and you have to share in that limited space with another one or two people. Yeah. That's different, isn't it? <laughs> it certainly is. It is certainly different. Uh, and so see, for you, because you were able to start dual enrollment and leave early, what do you, do you miss anything about high school? Of course, of <laughs> course, of course. What do you miss most? Uh, um, free food. That's right. Free tuition, of course. <laughs> right. Um, Things that we take yeah. for granted, right? Yeah. <laughs> my my, my uh, pocket is so empty, I don't even have wallet. <laughs> I just have uh, the $5. $5 is going to be less than the wallet, you know. And, you know, <laughs> talk about that. So listen, Will, so here it is. You've had to grow up, haven't you? Well, yes, ma'am. You've had to grow up. And so the things that you all have been very fortunate enough to have in high school and now that transitioning to college, that's a little bit different, isn't it? Mm. And so uh, what, are you, what are you majoring in? Uh, I hope to go to Georgia Tech as a transfer, mm -hmm. and I hope to graduate with aerospace engineering there major with research credits. And I was thinking maybe a minor in physics, mm -hmm. but I might just skip that and just go for a master's for mm -hmm. aerospace instead. And you know, um, Will, every time you and I have conversated, it's always been a pleasure, hasn't it? Why, yes, ma'am, it has. <laughs> it has always been a pleasure. And just to be able to, uh, to hear from you and the energy that you have, you know, <laughs> you have such an excitement for learning. Why, yes, ma'am. Who does that come from? Is, is that from your mom, um, your dad, your sisters, or all of them? Honestly, the excitement for learning is uh, when I first realized that, and I hate to diss on such a program that even got me. See, their logo is even behind me, That's so right. I really hate to diss this program, but... It's when I started to realize that you should never uh, confuse an education with knowledge. Um, so even though we pay all these sticker prices for clubs, activities, uh, even for college, at the end of the day, what you learn here is just simply tools, the highlights to actually learn stuff, to actually mm -hmm. do what you want to do in life. Mm -hmm. and, and that's when I realized that, um, honestly, everything that's been structured around here is simply what you have to find on your own. Mm -hmm. Life doesn't give you meaning. You give life meaning. Mm -hmm. And you've been thing. doing that. Well, yes, and all of these, these different tools that you've put into your toolbox, and, and they've been so useful for you to be able to do and, and to be able to excel the way you've excelled, isn't it? Yeah, I wouldn't call it excel. I would say more like struggle <laughs> along until I get there. <laughs> That's right. But either way, you're doing it. Well, yes, ma'am. You're doing it. And so when you turn that tassel, when you turn that tassel, that morning, what feeling is that going to be like for you, Will? Uh, honestly, I've been gone for a very long time yeah. from high school, so mm -hmm. I already know what that feeling is. Yeah, you, you already <laughs> experienced it, aren't you? Uh, yes, ma'am. Is uh, it everything that you thought it would be? Are you finding out different things that are taking place that you were not even expecting? Of course. <laughs> <laughs> honestly, that's the part that I wanted to save near the end. Should well, I, we're nearing the end. Do you want to go ahead and, well, and yes, close out for us, Will? Uh, two things I'd like to say <laughs> to people. And, uh, you know, as a legal adult now, and actually someone who's already going through the process and have been through the process, mm -hmm. I want to be the mouthpiece of all the other adults, you, mm -hmm. the cameraman, <laughs> maybe some other people in the back that okay. I don't see. So, uh, so I have two pieces of advice that got me through. Number one, <laughs> my friend... Someday, you're going to be really, really stressed out. Mm -hmm. and that's a, probably a very big given. But when you do get there, you have to realize that uh, there is no such thing as a quote-unquote future. There's today, there's tomorrow, there's a day after that. Instead of worrying so much, I'm like, oh, will I fit into college? Will I do this and this in college? Will I say so-and-so things to get a better position, my friend? You don't have to know what you're going to be doing in the next six months. You don't have to know what you're going to be doing in the next hour. Take it slow and take it one step at a time mm -hmm. and you'll get there. We call this an uh, elevator, but in reality, it's an escalator. It's made of many steps rotating in sequence to which we might not even know the schematics of. Mm -hmm. We're going to get there eventually, one way or another. One way or another. And the second piece of advice is probably the most harshful, and that's why I saved it for the second piece. Honestly, everyone here says that they treasure their friends. No, 
and everyone here says that uh, they really enjoyed their time here and that they missed their friends. Well, I've been gone for a very long time. And during those times, you have to realize that uh, what you've been doing here in high school, what you've been doing here now, in the future, you have to realize that you're going to wonder why you wore it so many times. My friends, when you go to college, you're going to be meeting a lot of like-minded individuals, people who share the same aspirations, goals, mm -hmm. uh, achievements even. You're going to start to realize that these things that you wanted to treasure so much, ACT, grades, sports, etc., won't matter anymore. You are going to be fine just where you're at. And with that note, I wanted to say the more harsher realities of things. When you get to college, it's going to be stressful at first. Very stressful indeed, because you're going to realize that, unfortunately, a good host realizes that his guests will leave eventually. Your friends might not contact you again. You're going to have to realize that a lot of people that you made friends with, a lot of things that you come to know here, a lot of things that you take here at home, they're not going to follow you to college, unfortunately. But that does not mean that people do not care for you. That just simply means that they're busy, that they've gone their own separate ways, mm -hmm. and that they wish the best of luck for you. Yeah. And on that note, you should probably think also that whatever you have, you should probably fix any regrets that you have right now in the high school, as that's probably one of the last and only things you could do with such a limited time frame. You should mm -hmm. make peace. Remember that nasopra sarasayata. We are on the same team. Mm -hmm. With other people, we are big. When we are one, we are none. Make peace with your friends. Make sure that you realize that you are not by yourself at any time or at any point. Mm -hmm. That on the inside, even though the world is cold, this right here is still warm. Do That's not right. let it burn out. That's right. Thank you so much, Will, for sharing with us. Thank you for your journey that you've been on, that uh, escalator. And we take what you take, what you said to us to heart, of taking things one day at a time and realizing that um, Things will change when we get to college, but as long as we stay true to who we are, we're going to be successful. Of Thank course. you, Will. No problem. At Hangers Cleaners in Dublin, we really appreciate your business and strive for customer service and a better quality every single day. That's what we're here for. At Hangers Cleaners, we'll pick up and deliver right to your door, saving you time and money. Hangers Cleaners, for all your fine linens, alterations, wedding gowns, leather, you name it, and we'll do it. Hangers Cleaners, for your professional dry cleaning and laundry. Hangers Cleaners, the cleaner that cares. Hillcrest Parkway in Dublin. I'm Heath Richter, and uh, we just uh, want to invite everybody to come on down to uh, the Houston Clinic and check us out at our new facility. Uh, we've been in Dublin for a while now, obviously, but uh, have, uh, have a new office here, and we'd just like you to come down and see some of the new stuff we're offering. And uh, if you need to get checked out, we'd be glad to do that for you. We've got uh, able to do some ultrasound guided injections now and um, physical therapy and just a little bit better space, so hopefully we can get you in and out of here a little bit quicker. Come by and see us today at our brand new location, the Houston Clinic Medical Drive in Dublin. All right, we are back. Hi, darling, how are you? I'm good, how are you? Good, nice to see you. You too. All right, share with us who you are, tell us about your family and things you've been involved in, okay? All right, my name is Piper Horn. I'm Scott and Tammy Horn's daughter. Um, I played volleyball for five years. I've been playing for more than that, but on the team for five years. Mm -hmm. um, I was in beta club, Y club. Um, I do dual enrollment and work-based learning, so I do work-based for two class um, periods. So I don't come to high school anymore. I just stay home, go to work, go back, do homework. Papa, so. your, your life has totally changed, hasn't it? Yes, ma'am. Remember when I first did the interview with y'all at volleyball? Yes, ma'am. And was... they had to put the stool up there for me to slam the net? <laughs> yes, ma'am. <laughs> <laughs> that was the funniest thing ever. What grade were you in then? I think that was when I was either in seventh or eighth grade. <laughs> And now here it is. So you're doing work-based learning, dual enrollment. Yes, ma'am. Okay, are you planning on going to Georgia Southern? <laughs> yes, I mean, you're really sporting the gear right here. <laughs> and so you've been, you've had a lot of things going on for you. Yes, ma'am. Uh, what's been the most exciting for you, your high school career? 
I think just playing volleyball. Mm-hmm. I've been playing, again, since eighth grade. I was on JV for yeah. three years, varsity for two years. Mm-hmm. My senior season, I did get hurt, though. I hurt my foot. I broke it. Oh, oh my God. I only played probably about five games before I broke it, but mm-hmm. I came back my senior night and the game after. Look at and you, Piper. It was, it was a great game. Well, you got a tough mama. Yes, ma'am. I know that for sure. And so uh, you've been playing sports all your life. Do you plan on still playing in college? or? Um, I hope to coach volleyball, mm-hmm. maybe be a teacher. I haven't mm-hmm. decided yet, be a teacher and coach or right. do chiropractic or something like that. Mm-hmm. Um, I also want to do the Disney College program in college. Maybe work at Disney because I grew up with Disney. Look at you. My grandparents worked at Disney for like 20 years, 15 years. What? What were they doing so at Disney? They were greeters. They would just stand outside, uh-huh. greet everybody, answer questions, start the day oh off. Oh my gosh. So it was, I've been going to Disney my entire life. So I really hope I can do the Disney College program. I love that. Um, that's based on my dream. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Well, you're living the dream. Yes, and of ma'am. course, just from being able to chat with you all, you all are taking the necessary steps to be able to live the dream. Yes, ma'am. And so you, you don't even come up here anymore. How is that for you to not get up and actually come to high school, but you're going to college classes and you're working? I have to rely on my friends. They tell me everything that goes on here. <laughs> They're like the best people ever. They always tell me, hey, we have senior breakfast tomorrow. Be right, there. Right, right, right. You have to do an interview with TV35, just so you know. Um, so basically, they are my eyes and ears into the high school, basically. And, you know, we talked about this. And, of course, uh, you know, Will was just speaking about, you know, when you do separate and, and some of your friends you'll miss. And, of course, me, myself, I can attest to that when I went off to college and, some of my friends, I, I just no longer saw them anymore. And, um, but you're going down to Georgia Southern. Yes, ma'am. Um, I know some people are going to Georgia Southern, uh-huh. but I'm not really friends with that yeah. many people going there. Um, my best friend going off to UGA. Mm-hmm. Another friend going off to Georgia Southern, but doing the Armstrong campus instead of Statesboro. Right, right. It's a little different, isn't it? Yes, ma'am. But when you go down to Georgia Southern, you're going to see so many people that you know. Yes, ma'am. You're going to be like, oh, hey, girl. Um, hey, KP. <laughs> yes, ma'am. <laughs> and so um, you're going to Georgia Southern. What do you plan on majoring? Because you said you want to do the Disney's program, but you also want to maybe teach volleyball or? I either want to um, teach high school and coach volleyball, mm-hmm. or I want to pursue a degree in kinesiology and mm-hmm. do chiropractic or something mm-hmm. like that. But I really haven't decided yet. All of y'all are still trying to work on Miss Pat's knee, aren't you? Yes, <laughs> And so for your, you know, talking about your, your parents, talking about the support system, you talk about your friends. Tell us about the relationship with your parents, with you. Um, I see my mom every day at school, right. every day at home. My dad, after he comes home from work. Right. Usually I'm going to work by the time he comes home for lunch. So mm-hmm. I hardly ever see him until after I get home from work. Oh, and then a- I'm doing homework the whole time. So, and then my mom. Before I did work based, I would eat lunch with her every day in her room during third period. Yeah. So, and she always coached me up until yeah. senior year. So, it was great. A little different now, huh? Yes, ma'am. Be a my sister different. goes to Southern. She'll be living right down the street. She still goes to Southern. So, you're you, you're going to be around family. Yes, ma'am. Anything you want to say to your peers before you go? Um, I heard someone one time say that the past is basically the past you can't go back to it and the future never really gets here because mm-hmm. it's always in the future so the only true measure of time is the moment and it goes on forever like you can never outlive the moment because it's always in the moment so just so. live your life like you would want to tell your kids one day mm-hmm. never be embarrassed to tell your life story always live life like you wouldn't want to be embarrassed to tell your story i'm living it like it's golden yes ma'am this is gonna be you one day honey yes ma'am thank you piper right, so proud you. of you thank you Zoe Sangster is coming around the bend. Hey, Zoe. Hi, how are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. Now, Zoe, have you and I interviewed before? No, ma'am. Oh, my goodness. Your senior year, and you've yes, never ma'am. had the pleasure. No, ma'am. <laughs> well, here we go, Zoe. Talk to us about you. Tell us about your family, and let's hear about how your high school experience has been here. Um. Well, I am the daughter of Candy and Josh Sankster, Mm -hmm. and I have been involved in Beta Club 
Anchor Club, Spanish Honor Society, and Color Guard, which mm -hmm. I had the pleasure of being the chaplain for two years. The chaplain. So you have been the spiritual leader. I have. Of the group. Yes, ma'am. How big a part does your faith play in uh, what you do academically as well as in athletics? Um, it's gotten me through a lot. Mm -hmm. I rely on God for everything. You know, you had a you had a big scare not long ago, didn't you? Yes, ma'am. I did. You know, I remember uh, your mom posted a photo of your car from a car accident. Yes, ma'am. Uh, how has that been? How has that changed you as a person and what you experienced in that? It definitely opened my eyes that everything can change in a split second yeah. and that you're not promised tomorrow. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you're not. So... And so for you, I know you don't take things or people for granted. No, ma'am. What are you going to miss about high school? I think I'm going to miss the atmosphere the most, mm -hmm. just the rate of pride that flows down the halls every yeah. single day. What are you not going to miss? Um, hmm. Probably having to wake up early and all the studying. But I'm just going to do it even more. You're just going to so. do it even more. But it's going to be a different type of, of environment for you. Yes, I tell people, when you go off to college, I mean, you know, you're having to, you know, you're paying for that education. And you, you know, a lot is riding on that. A lot is, uh, you know, a lot of people are depending upon you. Now, your mommy, Candy, I told her, I said, you're just as sweet as your name is. <laughs> I see your mom a lot doing photography, helping other family members out, and just doing so much to be a support system. Um, how, how, tell me about that relationship between you and your mom. Me and my mom are extremely close. Yeah. I go to my mom for everything. Yeah. And so where are you going off to school after graduation? I'm going to the College of Coastal Georgia in Brunswick. In Brunswick. Beautiful yes, down there. Great yes, school. What are you studying? Nursing. We just interviewed someone else that's going down there for nursing. So yes, you're going to have a friend down yes, there. She's actually my roommate. Your roommate? Yes, ma'am. Zoe, this is perfect. Yes, ma'am. This is perfect. I'm excited. And for this transition that's about to take place in your life, are there any things that you're kind of like nervous about? Leaving home, leaving my comfort zone. Mm-hmm. How many siblings do you have? I only have one. I have a sister, Ava. Mm-hmm. She's younger or older? She's younger than me. Mm -hmm. She's in seventh. So you no, about eighth, eighth, eighth grade. Eighth. So you about to leave that comfort zone, all right? I am. And so here it is. This is you, Zoe, growing up. Yes, ma'am. Everything that's been you've been taught, everything that has been instilled within you. Now it's time for you to put it all to work. Yes, ma'am. Anything you want to say to the people out there that are that are watching this? You know, you've had some great administrators and teachers and staff members that have been there for you, and and you know when you talk about your friends, people that have been there for you. Anything you want to say to them before you go? Um, thank you for always pushing me to be the best that I could be and for all the support. Very well. It means a lot. It does. So you go out there and make us proud. Yes, ma'am, I will. Thank you. This is Zoe Sangster, everyone. Thank you, thank you Zoe. The way the world is today. Go. Go, go, go. Things just seem so out of control. That's why the things we can control are so important. That's why we're members of our electric co-op. The whole reason the co-op exists is to bring us the electricity we need. So they look out for us. They invest in the best technology you can get just to keep the power on. Not because they have to. They actually do it because it's the right thing to do. Badcock Home Furniture and More is your home store where you'll find great savings on new living room sets, sofas, love seats, recliners, and more. Badcock Home Furniture and More has great savings every day on bedding and bedroom sets. 
Shop Adcock Home Furniture and more for a great selection of dining room sets. And save every day on electronics and appliances at Badcock Home Furniture and more. 1927 Highway 441 South in Dublin. Call 275-3144 for more information. Or stop by and see Wendy and Tim Sumner or any of their friendly staff today at Badcock and more Home Furniture Store, where no credit is ever refused. Well, well. Hello, twin. How's it going? <laughs> Good to see you. Good to see you, too. Now, you and I have done this many times. Yeah, a few times. A few times. Talk to us about you, and uh, let's hear it, okay, about everything you've been involved in. I'm Evan Davis. I'm the son of Stacy and Emery Davis. Um, I've been involved in Anger Club, Beta Club, National Honor Society, and FCA. Um, I've also played on the varsity soccer team for four years. I've um, been a starter, and yeah. Evan, you've been so busy. When I yeah. first, I think when I first met you, was it indoor soccer? Probably. Some years yeah. ago, indoor yeah. soccer. And you have not stopped. No. So between you Too and your long. brother, do you find yourselves to be very competitive? Yes, definitely. We're mm -hmm. always competing some sort of way. <laughs> and so now here it is, you know, you guys have done so much together. Are you going off to the same college? No, we are not. Splitting Wait up. a minute. You the two, dynamic are, duo you two up. are splitting up. Are you okay with that? How do you feel about that? I'm not <laughs> that mad with it. <laughs> You're like, Miss Pat, I'm ready. I'm ready. And so after graduation, so what are your plans? I plan to attend the University of Georgia University? and major in animal health. Look at you. Are you going to be a veterinarian? Yes, hopefully. As of now. As of now. <laughs> and so and where's your brother going to be? He's going to Tacoma Falls. To play soccer. To play soccer. Well, here we go, Evan. Here it is. Now, what are your parents, what are, what are their thoughts about all of this? Because, I mean, you know, your family is very involved, and your mama, I mean, she's your biggest fan. It's like she's your biggest fan. How did, how's all this happening? How's this all feeling for you, for them, and your dad getting ready for you guys to not only graduate from high school, but go off to college separate? Yeah, I'm sure they have mixed emotions. I mean, they're very proud of us and mm -hmm. what we're doing and what we've accomplished so far, but they're also going to be empty nesters oh, whenever <laughs> me and Colton get out of there. So We have got to check on these parents <laughs> because you've got a lot of empty nesters. And for you, Evan, what has been the most exciting thing for you throughout your high school career? What's been most exciting and most memorable for you? Um... I would just agree with a lot of the other students when they say the atmosphere mm -hmm. at West Orange High School is really good. Like, whenever you go to sporting events, you can tell people are excited, people mm -hmm. are pumped up just, yeah. just to be supportive. Yeah. And, of course, you guys have had some really great, great, uh, great seasons, and this past season is pretty we have, we have. spectacular, right? Yeah, it's been exciting for sure. And, um, and so you're going to miss this environment, this atmosphere. What is it that you want people – so, you know – you want people to remember you. What is it about you that you want people to remember you by? So like when you're gone, right, they want to be able to talk about you in the hallways. Y'all oh remember gosh. that, Evan? What do you want them to remember about you the most? Um, <laughs> that's, a, that's a tough one. That is um, a, it is a tough question, I know, but I, I figured you could handle that. Um, I'd want them to say that, you know, I was, I was kind mm -hmm. um, in today's world. You don't see a lot of kindness. So mm -hmm. I just feel like kindness goes a long way. It does. It does. I mean, and you are very kind. And so for you, transitioning to become, hopefully, a veterinarian, who else in your family are, is in the medical field? My mom. She's an occupational therapist, mm -hmm. physical therapist at Fairview Park Hospital. She's over all the therapy uh, there. And Emily, she is in nursing school right now. Look at you, keeping it medical, keeping it medical. Anything you want to say to your peers? Um, I would just want to say, you know, thank you for supporting me, hanging out with me. Um, just keep doing what y'all are doing, y'all be successful. Such as yourself, correct? Yes. All right, thank you. We're so proud of you, Evan. We look forward to what the future holds for you. Thank you. Thank you, Evan Davis. Oh, Jesus. Oh, hey, Jesus. <laughs> hey, <Ms. Pat. laughs> hey, baby. How are you doing? Good, how are you? Good. Now, hey, Jesus, now, you and I have talked before. Yes, ma'am. 
I think, when did I first meet you? You were little. Uh, <laughs> yes, ma'am. <laughs> you were your big brother's little brother. Yes, ma'am. When I first met you. All right, Jesus, share with everybody about you. Tell us about your family, and let's hear about how high school has been for you and things you've been involved in. Yes, ma'am. Well, my name is uh, Jesus Ibarra Flores. Uh, my mom's name is Maria Cruz Flores, and my stepdad's name is uh, Don Espinoza. And during high school, I've, I've been in, um, I did cross country my freshman year, mm -hmm. um, played football for my 10th and 11th grade. Mm -hmm. And of course, I've I played soccer all four years, yes. um, been on varsity all four years. Um, also, I'm in multiple clubs, uh, Skills USA, National Honor Society, Beta Club, and TSA. Mm -hmm. So that's about it. Hey, about Seuss, it. okay, I met you many years ago. And I remember one time I saw you, you and your mama, we were, we were shopping yes, and we were chit chatting. That's how we exchanged numbers, you know, but you know, Jesus, you've been so involved in so many things. You've had some things that have happened that have been very difficult for you to handle. And yes, then you've also, uh, you have persevered. Yes. Uh, tell us, uh, what has been the most uh, memorable thing for you that you've experienced throughout high school and what's been the most challenging for you? Um, yeah, so yeah, my mom, she's like, She's like my rock, basically. Mm -hmm. um, there's some really hard times. She she's had she's had in my back, um, and even the school. I had a lot of support from the school. Mm -hmm. Everybody checked on me, and mm -hmm. it, it was really great. That all the everyone was uh, was with me. Uh, hey, sis, you have a very kind spirit. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> you have a very kind spirit, and I think that because of that, and and everything that you've been involved in, people you've got people who really care about you. <laughs> Yes, and that's evident, especially for you when you really need someone, right? Yes, sir. And so now here it is. You've been playing soccer for so many <laughs> years, yes, Jesus. Sir. Now, please, are you planning on continuing this? Uh, no, ma'am. Actually, um, I'm I'm going into the the army, oh. and just that's actually what my brother did. He joined the he army, did. and I, I kind of like that type of thing. You know, I want to yeah. join the army, and then also it helps with paying off college. That's mm -hmm. really some really good benefits. Jesus, I'm so proud of you. <laughs> I'm so proud of you, even though you're hanging up your cleats. <laughs> yes, ma'am. But you may still be able to play on some Army teams. Yeah. You know, I know from a military experience with that. And so here it is. You're, you're, you are. You're, you're forging your own path, but at the same time, you see that your brother's doing well, and you're like, hey, this is something I can do too. Yes, ma'am. And so going into the military, do you have other family members that are military besides uh, your brother? No, ma'am. We're actually the first ones. <laughs> the first ones? <laughs> yes, ma'am. But my, my family's supportive of it. Yeah. yeah. Do you know where you're going to be first? Uh, yes, uh, yes, ma'am. South Carolina. Um, mm -hmm. I'll be there for basic training in my AIT. Oh, my God. Now, you've got to keep in touch with us. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Anything you want to say to your peers out there before you go? Uh, just thank you for all the, the support and just uh, all the great memories that I've had with all my friends. Yeah. That's pretty well, we're proud of you, Jesus. And of course, every time I would, I remember seeing your brother and finding out he was in the military and I'm like, look at you, I'm really proud of you. And now here it is, you're making these decisions, you're looking forward to the future, what the future is holding. And we're so very proud of you for that. Yes, ma'am, thank you. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is Jesus. Hi, I'm Perry Williamson. We've been serving the Devil and Lawrence community for over 90 years here at Williamson's Bakery. We specialize in donuts, cakes, pies, cupcakes, cookies, birthday cakes. They're our business, not a hobby. And don't forget our large selection of cheese straws. For special orders, contact us on Facebook, Instagram, or better yet, just come get you some. When you stop by, be sure to try our all new Pig in the Blankets. We have bacon, sausage, and chicken. We're located at 1634 Veterans Boulevard, Dublin, Georgia. With the hot, freshest donuts, come to Williamson's Bakery. We proudly support our area athletics. Progressive Rural Telephone Co-op offers a full range of communication products and services to its members in Lawrence County and surrounding areas. We take pride in being your total communications provider, and we work hard to provide quality services at the best prices. In addition to offering phone service, we provide high-speed internet and digital high-def TV. And we always strive to put our members first. Progressive Rule, your total communications company. Small enough to know you, large enough to serve you. ProgressiveTel.com. Call 478-984-4201 or stop by 890 Simpson Avenue in Rents. Progressive Rule Telephone Co-op. Has it been that difficult? What you? <laughs> hey, son. Hey. How are you? I'm doing good. Uh, let's talk, please. 
Share with everybody. So, what happened to T mom? Tell them who you are. All right, so I'm Bradley Wilson, <laughs> and my parents are Mike and Kelly Wilson, and I have a little sister named Caitlin Wilson in the middle school, and she goes to West Lawrence Middle School. Mm -hmm. And what all have you been involved in? Well, I've been involved in baseball and football all four mm -hmm. years in high school, mm -hmm. and I did, um, I'm part of the Beta Club and the National Honor Society, and I go to Dudley Baptist. You do. And you just received a big award lately, recently, yes, right? Yes, ma'am. It was the Male Athlete of the Year from the Lawrence County Exchange Club. Look at that. That is awesome. Yes, ma'am. But I did not see that then. Well, what's happened, so Bradley? I uh, actually just had surgery. You did have surgery. Not from May 7th. Mm-hmm. So just a little while ago. And I just got this thing today, actually. So How's your recovery? I'm doing good. Everything went well. So mm -hmm. now it's just a rehab process now right. to get back. And you've already signed a scholarship. Yes, ma'am. Tell them about that. So I am going to Mississippi State University to play baseball <laughs> in the fall. And I will um, be, so I, I'm a dual enrolled student. So mm -hmm. I already have my associate's degree. And then I'll be majoring in a, neuromechanics and hopefully I'll get my own um, master's in business administration too while I'm there so Bradley this is impressive this is impressive and so what's important for you you've got to make sure that you're healed so that when you get out there to Mississippi State yeah. that you'll be able to handle business yes ma'am for sure what are you gonna miss about high school or is there anything you're gonna miss mm, I'm definitely gonna miss just uh, the free time hanging out with my friends and like the high school sports really like mm -hmm. especially mm -hmm. like football and baseball with the guys that I played with my entire life and yeah. then just um, mostly that really like mm -hmm. the relationships I've gained with my teammates from playing baseball for forever with them really. because you got none of them going to Mississippi State right none of them mm. and you know we talk about you know the ones that are going to colleges to where they've got friends that are going, where they're going to be roommates, where they've got siblings that are there. You're going to Mississippi. Yep. Yep. Are you ready for that? Yes, ma'am. I think I am. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm kind of, I mean, not that I don't like Dublin or anything, but I want to, <laughs> I want to like venture out and see new yeah. things and uh, see a little bit different atmosphere mm -hmm. and see what it's all about. And I'm not saying that I won't come back or anything, yeah. but I just want to, I want to see different stuff yeah I mean yeah. I've always been around here this is gonna be a great opportunity for you I mean and you're going because of your athleticism and your academics but you know you're gonna be able to build relationships with other people and of course being an, a student athlete that's a whole set of uh, family members right there you're gonna be able to obtain yes ma'am for sure what do you want to say to some of your uh, your teammates because you've been playing sports for a very long time you all have been uh, formed like a brotherhood of sorts Anything you want to say to them? Uh, just keep working and grinding hard and just keep doing what you do and only worry about like where your feet are at. Don't worry about yeah. other people's stuff. Stay on your own road and then just keep working hard and be hard-headed about it. Don't let anybody tell you you can't do something. Well, you're definitely living proof of that. You've sure. been doing great things. So we're so very proud of you, Bradley. Heal up so that we can see you play, okay? Yes, ma'am. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is the Male Athlete of the Year here. Bradley. Thanks, Bradley. Thank you. Well, well, hello, darling. Hey, ma'am. You look adorable. Well, so do you. <laughs> Coming straight from work. Are you hard-working woman? Oh, yeah, hard-working. All right, share with us uh, about you, your family, and tell us about your high school experience. All right, well, my name is Kylie Page Smith, but most people call me KP. I was on the West Lawrence um, Lady Raiders softball team for four years on the varsity team. I was involved in Beta Club, National Honor Society. I'm also a member of the Citizens Bank Senior Student Advisory Council. Mm -hmm. I am the manager at Gigi's Boutique, and I also have my own clothing line, which is called KP's Collection. Wait a minute. You are already a businesswoman, KP. Yes, already. Impressive, impressive. KP, you have made a lot of friends and a lot of connections while you've been here in high school, uh, participating in sports and all of the uh, different clubs and extracurricular activities. How has that, how's that been for you? Well, I'm just very, I'm a very social person. So like I feed off of other people's energy <laughs> and like I have to be around a lot of people all the time. Like it's rare that I'm like, 
like you can ask my mom it's rare that I'm at home Mm -hmm. no no friends are over nobody's over and it's just the three of us so I feed off of that and I feel like that's really made the atmosphere and the experience what it's been for me Mm -hmm. because I feed off that and I surrounded myself with such good people Mm -hmm. good souls good energy and that has kept me going through this whole experience and so here it is you've been a busy lady you're managing the boutique down there got your own (laughs) clothing line how have you been able to keep the balance okay so it has been a challenge at times and i do get overwhelmed i'm not gonna lie everybody does at times Mm -hmm. but it's just it prioritizing your time mm-hmm. you got to mm-hmm. learn how to manage and that's been that's what something i've learned a lot this year i've taught myself how i got to manage you know call got to manage college yeah. high school at times when i had softball i had to manage put softball i threw softball in there too so it's just prioritizing your time and sometimes you just got to pull them all-nighters to get stuff done but yeah. hey it's done it's done <laughs> it's done and you've done it beautifully well thank you now okay now are you an only child i am Oh, oh, I'm telling you, y'all, you, you better get my mama some help <laughs> come for August 1st. Y'all better get her some help. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> what in the world is your mama going to? Well, we just got a golden doodle. Ah. So, Bella Ray is kind of helping a little mm-hmm. bit, but no, but. To, to ease the transition just slightly. She's been very emotional. <laughs> I'm sure. This is an emotional time. I mean, it is very bittersweet. And for you, after high school, what do you plan on doing? So, I plan on going to Georgia Southern University where I want to get my master's in accounting mm-hmm. and then later on become a CPA. Look at you. You know, uh, I was at a chamber board meeting one morning, and I go to my table to sit down, and I see KP. And I'm like, what are you doing here? <laughs> And to find out you were job shadowing. Yes, ma'am. I've, I've really enjoyed it. And so here it is, KP. You've kind of planned out how you want your life to go. For the most part, which I, I know, I mean, you have plans and God laughs at you for making those plans. <laughs> but, I mean, I, I'm the kind of person I do like to have an idea of what I'm going to do. But yeah. I'm, I'm also able to adapt to new things. And yeah. I, I have that. I'm not dead set. I just have an idea. Right. So, because right. I know life changes in a moment. So. It does change in a moment. And speaking of changes, you're going down to Georgia Southern. Oh, yeah. Already got your roommate. What oh, in the yes, world? Yes, yes. One of your best friends? Yeah, both of them actually. <laughs> yes. Girlfriend, this is going to feel like a high school at another level for you. Yes. And we've actually talked about it. So we know our limits with each other. I feel like that's the good thing. Like, people will say, y'all aren't going to be friends. Well, listen, we know when we need our space. We've been Mm -hmm. friends long enough. One of them I've been best friends with since I was like six years old. And the other one I've been best friends for like two years now. So we've kind of learned when we need to get away, it's time to get away. And so what this does, I'm sure that gives your mom a little bit more reassurance. Right. But at the same time, girls, y'all need to stay focused. Right. We got we, to keep our mind on what's most gotta, important. Yes, that's right. So anything that you want to say to, um, to the people out there, to, to the, you've had such a great support system. You've had people who have loved to come watch you play. You have people who have been there. You've got some ride or dies that are there. Anything you want to say to them? Well, I would first just like to say thank you. I mean, it really would not be the same without them. Like I said, the atmosphere at West Orange High School, you go to any sporting event, the at- I mean, you just walk into this whole different world. <laughs> like when, it- And I can, only- I can just say thank you to all the people who've come, supported us throughout mm-hmm. the – Throughout the years, I mean, I know I, I can speak for myself, but I feel like I can speak for everybody and say that the class yeah. of 21 is so thankful for all the support and love that the administration, mm-hmm. all the faculty, and even the other students in other grades and in our own grade, we've just been so close and supportive and just a well-rounded group and community. Very good. And I tell you, you know, you've got, you guys have definitely made your mark. Uh-huh. And I'd so, so, so excited for you and so proud of you. I'm going to miss interviewing you. Oh, I know. Uh, it's, it's, it's usually several times in a school year. I know, our last I, time. We really go way back. And I so know. just to see you now and to know uh, the beautiful young lady that you have blossomed into and what is yet to follow for you is always it's such a blessing. Yes, ma'am. Thank you, KP. Thank you. The City of Dublin Natural Gas provides the most cost-efficient source of energy available today. So for your home, choose the most natural resource, safe, clean, efficient, All new subdivisions around the Dublin area have natural gas available. Start reducing your energy bills today with Dublin City Natural Gas Department. Natural gas, the smart choice. Call 277-5048 today and let us help you start saving today. 
Hi, I'm uh, Dr. Dustin Gay. I'm a local orthopedic surgeon with Houston Clinic Orthopedics, and we'd really like to invite everybody to come out to our new uh, office facility to take a look at it. It's a larger space with physical therapy, and uh, we're just excited to have it, and we'd love for people to come out and visit us. Come by and see us today at our brand new location, the Houston Clinic Medical Drive in Dublin. Come on through. There it is. Right. Hey, how right. are you? Doing good. Good to see you. Me too. You excited about this interview? I can oh, see yes. you bubbling over with energy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Tell us who you are. Tell us who your family is. And let's talk about how things you've been involved in throughout your high school time here at West Lawrence. All right. Well, I'm just Ty Johnson. I'm the son of uh, Danny Johnson and uh, Sherry Johnson. I've been a four-year varsity starter on the tennis team. And uh, I'm the part of the uh, Rally Raiders. Uh, wait a minute. The Rowdy Raiders, will you take your shirt off and you mm -hmm. paint it with something? Yes, ma'am. What letter are you? Uh, depends on the game. <laughs> <laughs> and you all are region champions for tennis? Yes, ma'am. Congratulations to you on that. Thank you. And you've been playing this sport now. How does it feel for you to play this sport that you really love and to have your dad coach you? Because it's really, tough. It's, sometimes it's really hard. Sometimes it's really not. He really pushes me to my limits and uh, yeah, it's been fun. It has been fun. And so for you, playing for so many years, do you plan on continuing in college or what? Yes, ma'am, I actually be the uh, first one that come out of high school to play college tennis at uh, Mill, Georgia. This is exciting. Yes, oh my God. I bet your parents were like just overjoyed. Yes, ma'am. And are. then your grandma. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> She's retiring this year, so she'd be, able to, she'd be able to go out and watch you play, yes, right? right? And so for you to be able to continue this sport, uh, what do you think that's going to have to, that you're going to have to really work on to make sure that you're able to keep your academics up in the, you know, collegiate realm and still be very competitive out there on the court? Uh, well, my dad's always told me you got to have balance in everything mm -hmm. you do, in academics, Athletics and just hanging out with friends. Got to have balance with everything. Mm -hmm. and just try to balance that out the best way I can. That's right. Do you hang out much with friends? Uh, yes, ma'am. Yeah. What do you do? What do you like to do for fun? Uh, depends on the day. The rhythm. <laughs> really. Okay. Okay. It depends on the day. Now, so you're not going to be too far from home, which is nice. Oh, are a lot of your friends going off uh, to college? Yes, ma'am. Uh, my group of guy friends are all going to Mill, Georgia. This is perfect, isn't it? Yes, ma'am. You got to stay balanced, though. Yes, ma'am. And stay focused, right? Try to. All right. Anything else, Jeff? All right, ma'am. All right. Congratulations to you. All right. Thank you. All right. You'll probably see my daughter. She plays soccer up there. No. <laughs> Riley. Hey. Hey, pretty thing. How are you? Good. How are you? Good. All right, now, Riley, this is it. You and I, this is our yeah. last interview. I know. I'm never interviewed with you. What? I know. Are never. you kidding me? I'm serious. I know your mama, your grandmama, and you and I have never interviewed. Never. You're not nervous, are you? A little bit, but I, not, not too much. I just hope I can answer all your questions. It's just me and you. Yeah. And three cameras. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Riley, tell everybody who you are. Tell us about your family, and let's talk about how things that you've been involved in here at high school and how this has been for you. Um, I'm Riley Neal, and my parents are Vicki and Daniel Neal, and I have an older brother, Ryan Neal. Um, I really, haven't really been involved in much besides mm -hmm. just dual enrollment, mm -hmm. and I do um, help with, like, the Rowdy Raiders. I'm mm -hmm. always a part of that, and FFA, but nothing to... Now, I've seen you up there with the Rowdy Raiders. I love it. Oh, I know you do, honey. <laughs> I send many a pictures to your mother <laughs> that I've taken of you. I love cheering everybody on. And so, and you've been dual enrolled. How has that been for you? Because, you know, dual enrollment people, that's college. Mm -hmm. And if you're still taking high school courses and taking college courses, that's a lot that you have to keep balanced. Yes, so how has that been for you? It's, def it's definitely been difficult, but I am glad that I did it because mm -hmm. it puts me ahead of the game. Oh yeah. And I can finish school earlier than most people, but, um, with me being full-time dual enrollment, it has made me miss out a lot mm -hmm. in my senior year because I don't come to the high school as much. But other than that, I've really enjoyed doing it. Is that, has that been weird? A Very, little bit weird? Like, I've only been to the high school like three times my senior year. And it's like, you know, that seems odd. Like, from back in our day, that just didn't even, wasn't yes, even heard of unless people were like doing like work, 
work study or something like that. Mm -hmm. But here it is, you've got so many things that are taking place. Mm -hmm. You rarely come here. Yes, ma'am. And so that's like, so do you still get to see some of your classmates? Yes, ma'am. Um, I do do one in seat class at mm -hmm. the college. So mm -hmm. I get to see people there and I go to like all the baseball games, football mm -hmm. games. So mm -hmm. I do get to like see the people still just not in the school setting. Right. And so the question I normally ask is, what are you going to miss about high school? Uh, you've already missed it. Like mm -hmm. you've already had to do some type of transition yes, of the the new the norm that you were used to. Yes, ma'am. I will. Def I do miss like interacting with people because I love. I loved ever since I was little. I've always loved coming to school. Like if I missed school, I was like, yes. dang, I wish I would have went to school. Like right, right, I didn't right. get to talk to my friends today. I, I do. I will miss that. And so for you, after you go off, after you graduate, where are you going? What are your plans? To Southern. You, oh, Lord. <laughs> going down to Southern. Yes, ma'am. What are you going to major in? Uh, I really haven't made my mind up, but mm -hmm. it's, it's between either nursing or teaching. And you've got a lot of friends down there, don't you? Yes, ma'am. And a lot of my family, they're still there. Like mm -hmm. my cousin, Caitlin, she, um, it'll be her first year there, too, because she okay. did her first year out of high school at GMC. So you got family and friends mm -hmm. already down there. Now wait a minute now, so you got an older brother. Mm -hmm. When you leave, your mama's gonna be an empty nester too? Yes. Oh word. She's gonna be a mess. <laughs> I'm my mom's best friend. Uh, you're twins, you're basically twins. If yes. you've never seen Vicky, these two are basically twins. I get it every day. And so how does she, how are you helping her be okay? Well, I, like I tell her, I'm like, I'm going to come home all the time because I'm one, I don't like to spend the night with people. I, I like to be at home with my mama. Like, she's my safe place. Right, right. And so I, I tell her all the time, I'm like, I am not going to be gone as much as you think I am. Yeah, like, yeah. every chance I get, I'm coming home. And so that's the good thing about not being too far away to where yes, when you're able to, you can come back home. Mm -hmm. But you know, you still have to stay focused and there are mm -hmm. times when you're going to have to study and it's like, Mom, I won't be able to see you this weekend, mm -hmm. blah, blah, blah. But... You got it down pat, don't you? Yes, ma'am. Uh, what do you want to say to your mom? Uh, I would definitely say thank you for being my biggest supporter through everything. She's always there for me, and she's always listening to what I have to say, even if she doesn't want to. Right. And she's just always there for me. All right. Anything you want to say to your peers? Um, I would definitely say don't take it for granted because it, it comes by way faster than you think it does. Yeah, it yeah. really does. Well, Riley, it's been, it's always a pleasure when I see you. Of course, when I see you, of course, I see your mom. <laughs> and, and, you know, us mothers, we can't help it all the time. Oh, Lord, you look just mm -hmm. like your mama. Take that in stride and know that that's a good thing. Yes, uh, We're excited about what is next for you. Yes, ma'am. Because this is big. I mean, you've been dual enrolled. So, yeah, that is putting you way ahead of the power curve. And so, therefore, you've got to mm -hmm. really make some decisions yes, on, on what's next for your life. But we know that you're going to do great things. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is the lovely Riley. Hey, I'm Glenn Register with Hometown Supply. Anything they need for us to do, we do. We get warranty with everything, new and new. You can get what we call a tractor style mower that's less expensive than a zero turn is. You can spend basically half the money and do the same job. You come down and look at what we have, service it, we get parts for it. We can take it down there behind the store. We got a place down there we cut, show them everything about it. Take it out, set it up, do the financing on it, payment where you can handle it. You can get whatever you want and just about name your game. This is a one-stop shop. And remember, if you can't do business here, you just can't do business. Georgia Military College is a two-year associate's degree granting institution. We are an open admissions college. What that means is all you need to do is have a high school diploma or a GED to get accepted into GMC. We offer several associate's degree programs including business administration, pre-nursing, psychology, criminal justice, as well as education. We offer classes during the morning, evening, and at night. We even offer some weekend classes. We offer online classes as well as in-seat classes, whatever is convenient for you and your schedule. We are located at 200 South Jefferson Street in Dublin, Georgia. If you want a great education with small class sizes, affordable tuition, we would love to see you here. Stop by to see us or give us a call. Start here, go anywhere. Georgia Military College, Dublin campus. And Miss Pat. Hey, sweetie. Lord, y'all. <laughs> Keaton. Are y'all trying to make me 
cry bringing Keaton up here, the last one. <laughs> Keaton, share with everybody about you, your family, and let's hear it about your high school time here, things that you've been doing and what that's been for you. Oh, wow. Well, um, I am Keaton Brown. My parents are Aaron and Brian Brown. I have a brother named Tucker. He's a sophomore here at West Lawrence High School. And throughout my time at West Lawrence, I've been a part of Anchor Club, Beta Club, Raider Buddies, NHS, uh, National Honor Society. Um, I've been with FCA, leadership team, band. Uh, I've played baseball my freshman sophomore year, and I actually just got back from a golf tournament. Yeah. <laughs> like just two and a half hours ago, finishing the first oh round of state gosh. golf. How did so, y'all do? How did y'all do? Uh, we didn't do that bad. Didn't do that bad. We uh, we could probably do better. We're going to do better tomorrow. But, yeah. You drove from Athens for this interview. I sure did. Just to say you, Miss. Oh, my gosh. The still my heart. <laughs> you know, Keaton, you have been very active. Mm -hmm. And um, you you managed to be really a such a mentor to so many people. Oh, thank you. Your peers and also the younger people, you've been such a mentor. Where mm -hmm. does all this come from? Because you have a, ma a maturity that ma that some people don't necessarily have at this age. Oh, all, all of this comes from God. I mean, yeah. Totally, I mean, just giving all glory to Him with this. I mean, honestly, it's just been through steady devotional with um, with the Bible, with yeah. prayer time with Him. Because there's no, I mean, I would never be who King Andrew Brown is today if I weren't for God. Um, I mean, and through reading the Bible, I've gained so much knowledge and, and wisdom. So I, think, I give Him all the glory. You know, there's this video circulating of you when you're ministering with FCA. Yes, ma'am. And um, Fellowship of Christian Athletes is an organization that really empowers young people to not be afraid to stand for Christ. Mm -hmm. And to and it helps you uh, with peer pressure and how to be able to still be that voice mm -hmm. for, the, uh, for the voiceless. And, and here it is, you've been doing this so gracefully, so beautifully, and you've had your parents, your families have been right there with you yes ma'am every step of the way mm -hmm. tell us about the relationship you have with your parents and how instrumental they have been in your life for you to be where you are now oh my word oh my parents <laughs> oh they've really impacted me tremendously uh my mom she's been one of my she is the role model i would say uh she uh every step she takes every move that she makes i'm watching her and i try to be made that same exact move like I'm I'm like she makes a step and I try to make that same step <laughs> after her. Um but she she has so many great leadership characteristics. Um she always she's one of the most selfless people I know. Mm -hmm. Always there to care for someone even if they are family or they're not or even just a stranger, she's there for them. And then my dad, um my dad, oh man, he's a wonderful and godly man. Always uh, teaching my brother, me and my brother uh, the gentleman way of how to act yeah. and and the strength of a godly man within them. So, Look at that. Yes, ma'am. You know, of course, you know, because I've been knowing you for quite some time, I think I first started interviewing your dad several, several years ago mm -hmm. at, at the baseball camps and all those things. And now yeah. here it is to see you. And now your, your brother, Tucker. Yes. I told him, I said, now, Tucker, once Keaton leaves, you're going to be the new brown around here. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to have to follow in his footsteps. And so, uh, Keaton, you have been, um, so many people look up to you. When do you find time for Keaton to just turn everything off, to just relax? Or do you? Um, usually, uh, find time to relax. is like at, at night at about 8.30, 9, 9.30 at night. And I sit down, sit on the couch. And I just sit down and talk with my family. I mean, usually my family would be right there, and we just talk throughout our, our day. Mm -hmm. And we just sit down, and we just uh, fellowship. And sometimes we even get a Bible verse or maybe a chapter in there. And then we head, go upstairs, and then we hit the hay. But, Look at you. But yep. then it's back to it the Back next to it day. the next day. And so after graduation, Keaton, what's happening with you? I will be attending um, Shorter University this upcoming fall. And I will major in biology, either biology or biochemistry. I haven't made that decision yet. Oh, wow. Um, and minor in biblical studies. I like to head into the medical field and eventually pursue a doctorate degree in ophthalmology. And I like to go travel around the world in third world countries oh. and 
help people around my community, uh, give them the care that they need with their eyes for, through cataract surgery, glaucoma, or even um, Lasix, or whatever that they need to be provided for their eyes so that they can see. So I want to, I want to provide them sight and show them the light both, both physically and spiritually. I so. love that, Keaton. Yes, ma'am. Keaton, you've got to keep in touch with us because this is really such a beautiful thing. And the vision that you have, you still are keeping your foundation, which is the Lord Jesus Christ. I got to. I got to. Any last words, Mr. Keaton Brown? Uh, don't, don't afraid to be different. That's all I can tell you. Uh, that's all I can tell you for all these upcoming uh, eighth graders to mm -hmm. freshmen, sophomore, juniors, and seniors. There's going to be a lot of followers in high school, but don't be don't be afraid to be different and be that leader and be the standout. I love so. that, and you've done that. You've done that beautifully, Keaton. It's always a pleasure. It, this is bittersweet for us. Mm -hmm. Like this is bittersweet for us. It's always a pleasure to be able to chat with you. I love the fact that uh, your foundation is very firm. Mm -hmm. You have such a good spirit. I often tell your mom and dad, I'm like, oh, y'all have raised a good one. Y'all are raising some great young sons. And so we're looking forward to what, what the Lord has for you, Keaton, because we know it's going to be great. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, this has been a wonderful day here. You have met so many of the uh, seniors here at West Lawrence High School, just for them, just reminiscing about how their high school experience has been and what the future holds for them. We as a school district are so very proud of these young men and these young women because we know that they have represented themselves, their families, our school district, and our community quite well. So here's to the class of 2021 and go Raiders. <laughs>